Hello. My name is Jal Bagel. I'm joined by my... I always want to say very good friend, but it sounds so demeaning. I'm joined by my best friend, DJ Johnny. Say hi, Johnny. That's me. Uh, hi, and Johnny. this is Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Uh, so, uh, unlike other Monster Hunter games, uh, this is a turn-based uh, RPG game similar to, like, Pokemon and other turn-based RPG games. Uh, but it has a very unique combat system to it that's a uh, pseudo rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. Um, we'll get into all the mechanics and the things that make the game unique and all that, but if you like Monster Hunter, you will like this. Um, once again, I said, you know, my name is Jal Bagel. I speedrun this game, a lot of it too. Um, and uh, that's DJ Johnny, who wants to speedrun this game, so this is uh, going to be my, my uh, me forcing him into it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, without further ado, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and start setting up our character. Uh, Alright, so we need to get our hairstyle. It's going to be that one, yep. And we're going to change that to this. And then we're going to make it a little bit lighter because teal is the best color. Teal has been proven to give us really good RNG. Uh, that's, those are the eyes that I like. Uh, cool, and then we're going to name you... Gal Bagel. All right. Uh, so <clears throat> time starts when we hit confirm here, uh, and we're just gonna be jumping right into it. Uh, well, um, you know, I mean, this game's this game's beautiful. This game's pretty. This game's turn-based, and it's kind of long too. Uh, flight percent's four hours long, and that's where we're going to today. Uh, and if we have a particularly good run, I'll keep it going. Um, so without further ado, Johnny, would you like to give me a countdown on go? Yes, on go. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, hey, you know it would be really helpful if I hit my foot pedal too. Mm, Damn maybe. it. <sighs> Am I going to reset? No, I, I can always retime to. it. It's okay. Yeah, okay. I forgot this one doesn't have an auto splitter. All right. Uh, so the great thing about this game is that a lot of like all the cutscenes are skippable. You can just hold start and skip every cutscene, um, and you're going to see a lot of the beautiful charm of this game. But more or less, right now, um, we are a a monster rider in in this the town of Mahana or, or the I guess the village of Mahana, uh, who is a it's a coming of age, right? We are now old enough to be a monster rider, um, and so we have our big sister figure here, Kana, who's going to show us the ropes. Uh, so if the first little bit of this is going to be some tutorial. Uh, and it's all pretty straightforward, incredibly scripted out, very, very easy. Um, just trying to remember if I remember which one of these. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials that pop up in the beginning here, so clearing them out quickly is kind of what I'm focusing on right now. Uh, but we, uh, you know, it's, it's a coming of age story and it's, it's a really, it's a really fun one too. Um, but this is, this is it. Oh, look at how beautiful this game is. So this is our first area, Hokolo Island, and Kana's going to be showing us the ropes. Um, for the meantime, she's going to be lending us one of her monsties, a Velocidrome named Ranmar. Uh, and then she's also going to have her Veloci her other Velocidrome, uh, Avmar, joining her as well. Uh, so the first thing we got to go do here, whoops, I clicked that button way too soon. Uh is go and fight these Aptanoth. A uh, very cool thing about the beginning of this game is that it's 100% scripted out. Uh, so as long as we just do the same things each time, uh, this will go by very quickly. Uh, other really good uh, good feature about this game is that from the very beginning, it has a times three speed uh, modifier that you can do. Uh, so we will always have that on, um, except if we want to watch one of the uh, fancy dancy uh, kinship attacks, which we'll get there. Yo ZD, yo Chansky. And like, just like that, the first fight is done uh, against an Aptonoth. But you can see there, uh, we really didn't explain it because it happened really quick, but you have uh, the choice between three different attacks when you uh, are doing a basic attack. Um, it is either power, speed, or technical. Um, they Those are red, blue, and green. And just like Pokemon, fire beats uh, grass, grass beats water, and water beats fire. Um... So that's the way I try to <laughs> make sure I remember it. <laughs> uh, and right off the bat, you know, it's just making sure that we know which attack to use where. Every monster that we will fight has predictable AI, not scripted AI. 
Uh, so we just need to make sure that we are doing the right things at the right times. You also see the battle lines that are happening. Those are going to pro promote head-to-head uh, -head attacks, which is what we want to be doing for the most part. Um, and what we really want to try to take advantage of is double attacks. Uh, that's when you and one of your partner monsties use the same type of attack uh, while one of you is in a head-to-head. -head. We're going to be taking advantage of that the entire time. Whoops, missed some put there. Uh, and then just right over here and showing off another thing, a skill. Skills also are uh, dependent on the monster and the weapon that we're using. Uh, and they also have a... Uh, a battle type as well so you can use them to continue winning head-to-heads uh, and uh, that's gonna build up a passive gauge that's in the uh, that's in combat called kinship and we spend kinship to do other uh, skills as well as our uh, kinship attack there's a lot combat goes by so quick in this game so uh, we should probably should have explained it a little bit beforehand mm -hmm. um, there's also gathering in this game and gathering happens very quickly so we'll mostly just be running over things and mashing the uh, X button. And for the most part, gathering isn't too terribly needed, especially the random items. It mostly comes down to boxed items because boxed items in static areas are static. Um, and we won't be going into any randomly, uh, or excuse me, procedurally generated areas. We'll only be in, um, we'll only be in static areas. All right, so this is Cool Yaku. Uh, this is like our first big fight. Um, there's a bit of RNG associated with it, uh, but for the most part, it, he's going to do four attacks here, and for all of them but one, he's not going to target me, and we aren't going to win a single head-to-head -head until he targets me. Because um, he's using technical attacks, so we need to make sure that we use power. There's the one that we finally get to do against him. Um, but this one's a kind of a tutorial on kinship attacks. Because uh, it's going to line us up to do a double kinship attack on this thing, uh, which is going to do all of its health. Uh, it's also going to teach us about the different weapon types. Uh, cool thing about this game is that there are three different, uh, there's six different weapons, three different weapon types, and we can have three weapons on us at a given time, and we can switch between them like so. Um, so there's uh, slashing damage, bludgeoning damage, and piercing damage. And, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And so we want to make sure that we line up our uh, damage correctly to uh, help promote uh, part breaks. But you'll see that Kana doesn't really do that much part break damage because she's not using a weapon that's optimal for this, whereas I am, and I'm dealing a lot more damage. Oh, I actually could have just stayed on that. Noted for the future, because we don't get head-to-heads during that. So that's going to fill up our gauge, and it's going to unlock a uh, the the ride option. Uh, this is kinship riding, when the bond between monster and rider is at its height. And then we get to do this really cool thing, uh, which I'm going to take this time loss so we can see it. Ha, ha, ha. Look at him go. Look at him go. It's so anime. So these are kinship attacks. When you do them double, uh, <laughs> you only get the the rider's portion of it, or the, the partner's portion of it, but it's still super cool. Super anime, and every monster has its own unique one. Uh, they are not all the same. <laughs> it's a gigantic that. explosion. <laughs> and it was worth the time loss. And there you go. Cool. Um, with this too, we're gonna get a monster egg and it's gonna show us uh, what hatching is. Um, and that's kind of a, a really unique part about this game is that you we, it is a team builder. It is a monster collector. Uh, so we're going to be going out of our way every now and then to get additional monster eggs to build up a party that's going to make this, you know, bare bones, the, the minimum that we need to actually finish the game. Uh, this uh, Kulia Ku we actually don't use. Skip, please. Thank you. Um, but he is very cute. Look at that Look little at thing. Him. Look at that chicken. Uh, up next is Overlook Cave, though. Uh, this is when we kind of go off on our own. Uh, we have to go and do do a little bit of a do a little bit of investigating on our own. Because uh, you know we're a rider and we got to be able to do things by ourselves. And so Kane has given us the reins to go and uh, explore Overlook Cave. But before that, we're gonna accept some side quests here. Uh, side quests are nice because they're going to give us mostly Zenny, um, and maintaining uh, upgrades in this game is expensive, 
So we're going to want to make sure that we pay attention to these. Uh, we want that, that, and that. And we're off. Good night, Oni. Thank you. Good luck. Hi, Jones. Where's Jonald Cam? Uh, not here. Just close your eyes and imagine I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, you know what he looks like. Yeah. You know this handsome mug. So one of the really cool things about this game is that you can ride any of the monsters that are in your party. Uh, and all of those monsties have field skills. Um, Randmar's here. The Velocidromes is a jumping ability. So that's going to help us navigate certain areas, skip certain things. Um, you'll see me every now and then uh, picking up the gold mining nodes because they have uh, increased chance to give me uh, traded items. And those traded items we're going to use mostly for uh <clears throat> for upgrading money you know they don't they don't do anything other than they can be sold for a lot of money uh so whenever we see a gold node we're gonna go out of our way to grab it if it's not too far away um there'll be a section later where uh we're in a uh, a literal mine and there is gold nodes everywhere so that's one of the uh the chests that i was talking about chests have static items in them um in static locations so Overlook Cave is one of those, and uh, you know there will always be those two life suit. Um, that's just a healing item that is used mostly for safety. Well, there's going to be some moments where we absolutely need to be using healing items because that's just part of the strategy. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know it, it's all safety. And then we have Velocidrome. First thing we're going to do is switch to Kulia Ku because this is a speed type monster when it starts out, and then when it gets enraged, it starts using power. Um, that's the cool thing about this game, too, is that as the monsters move through their different phases, their different cycles, their AI will change, and they will do different things. Um, and so in this case, when uh, the Velocidrome becomes uh, enraged, it will uh, it will start using uh, power attacks instead. And so I'm going to line this up in a way um, that I'm going to have kinship when it goes enraged, so that now I can ride the monster. Something that we didn't talk about is that when you win a head-to-head, -head, no matter what, during a head-to-head, -head, um, both participants of that head-to-head -head take battle uh, uh, take battle damage. On whoops, unless um, you get a double attack, in which you don't take any damage and only the enemy does. Um, so we're going to be taking advantage of double attacks to keep up our health as high as possible. Oh, God. All right, cool. Quick time events. Uh, they happen every now and then. They give us uh, kinship, and they are very annoying. Uh, but we're going to be taking advantage of uh, the, the double attack mechanics here just to not lose a bunch of health for no reason um, and maintain our health because there will be fights later that we can't avoid that. You know, we can't avoid uh, certain damage. Nice. Uh, this is a scripted egg. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Oh, no. I was just saying, look at that gold split right there. Let's go. Yeah. It's good gold. Good, good gold. Yeah, and all... Whoops. I did not mean to pick that up again. I keep doing that. Most of the time when we pick up eggs, the, uh, nest actually goes away. Um, at, like, after this, every single egg that we pick up, the nest goes away. This is the only one where it doesn't. Uh, so it's very easy to mash back into that input and pick up a second egg. All right, but that was Overlook Cave. About it too. I was going to say, the good thing about it, too, is that once you pick up an egg, you could just shortcut all the way back to the beginning of the, uh, or the entrance mm -hmm. of the cave, so you don't have to go back through again. Yeah, and uh, actually one of the things that we will be doing later when we unlock fast travel is just fast traveling out of the, the uh, den instead of leaving it like that. Um, it saves a load screen uh, and... It, it's. I think it's really cool tech, personally. <laughs> Take my money, no! Hi, Kira. Hi, Kira. Uh, so this is uh, Pona Grasslands. This is the Pona Grasslands incident. This is a track gathering section. Um, the way they do track gathering in this game, if you ever played Monster Hunter World, this will look very familiar to you. Uh, and the way they did it in this game is uh, it's based on um like gathering nodes which we have a quest a subquest right now to finish that is based on gathering so the more we gather the closer we do get to finishing that quest which is good because that's experience and that's money um the other thing too is that they are static locations so this is completely scripted out which is really nice um unlike world where it's three static 
uh, you know, track patterns, which can lose you any amount of time just for being a different one. This is just, you know, always the same nodes. We go to this one first. Oh, whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Oh, God, please get up there. Sir! There we go. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. This has got a thousand zenny in it. That's gonna be helpful for us for our first set of upgrades. And... Oh, I'm missing one. Alright, there we go. And we gotta go run all the way to the other side of the world here. So we haven't unlocked fast traveling yet, but fast traveling is in this game, and that's gonna be our main way of navigating the world. Um, especially after exploring an area. You know, we're gonna explore an area, and then we're just gonna fast travel to wherever we need to go to next. Um, and this game, it feels a lot like Monster Hunter in that, uh, you know, you go, you explore, you fight a thing, and then you just return back to the hub. And for the most part, that's all we're gonna be doing, really. Um, but there is some other kind of like uh, early movement stuff that we do uh, because there are these things called Everdens, which we're going to explore next, um, that give us uh, a unique type of currency, which we'll use to do upgrades, uh, as well as um, static monster encounters, which aren't necessarily helpful in this category, at least not yet. Good RNG so far. Yeah, so in this battle, we actually are going to be fighting a young Cuckoo who's focusing on tech. Uh, and I believe when they're enraged, they'll be switching over to speed. Mm -hmm. The other thing to uh, note about the kinship attack, too, is that... Um... Oh, okay. I won't get to actually level it up. Um, we can level it up by winning head-to-heads with it. Um, for the most part, we'll want to try to get ours to a level 3 and then line that up with the partners. Um, that'll just deal the most damage. These quick time events are really annoying. They aren't necessarily easy. Um, but, you know, uh, especially this early in the game, we're more or less just mashing through things. Uh, because we don't have really too much control over the game quite yet. Switching to speeds we want. Uh, technical, and, you know, actually, we're just going to let her do that. Because uh, there's there's some actions that'll change uh, partner AI. Switching monsties is one of them. I didn't want to switch uh, monsties and then uh, mess up her AI, but I will do it now. Odds are it didn't change it to the right thing. <laughs> uh, but this should be close to death. And the good thing to note as well is that when we switch out monsters, it actually doesn't take up a turn, so we're able to attack within that same turn as well. <laughs> and the main reason we have different monsters is um, because each one has a different type of attack preference uh, between um, power, speed, and technical. Uh, when we switch that monster in, it will always use that attack preference. Uh, always. So we can use that to um, save a fight, like if we're going to be in a head-to-head -head, uh, and our Monsi that we have out at that time isn't using the right attack or can't even use that right attack, we can just switch into it. So we are going to get this egg here. Uh, this is a, t a tutorial on retreating and retreat dens, and we do want this egg. We're only going to pick up one, and as you saw, like all the eggs disappeared, and then we're just going to go ahead and leave here. And the other big reason, there. yep. The other, the other big reason why we won't be picking up eggs a bunch is one, we just don't need it, and two, that walk back just takes forever. So this is a Catavan stand. This is our form of fast travel. We'll have to unlock the Catavan stands around the world to be able to fast travel to them. But then after that, we can fast travel to them at any time. Very, very convenient form of transportation. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Okay, there we go. And then now we go back to Chief Gata uh, to report in. And next is our Everdone tutorial. The really cool thing about uh, Mahana is that it is all tutorial. It gives us 
um, a bunch of different objectives that's showing us, uh, you know, all the different facets to exploration in this game and all the different ways to explore and uh, and to do things, which I, I always really appreciated. Um, and the really cool thing, too, is that this is all the the demo for the game as well. So if you if you want to try it out, this is all in the demo. Everything that I've done so far is in the demo. So this is Mailinx Inc. Um, this is the the more or less the tutorial on the uh, Everdens, and Mailinx Inc. is the one that's going to be using those uh, area specific currencies that are found in the Everdens called bottle caps. And we're going to be collecting a certain amount of bottle caps to uh, be able to purchase and upgrade very early uh, when we get into the next area, so we don't have to do really any crafting while we're in that area. Um, more or less, when you get to a new area, the uh, armor and weapons that you can buy from Melinx Inc. are as good as the ones you can get at the end of that area. Um, so we'll be doing that twice, uh, once when we get to Kuan Village, and then again when we get to uh, Nuate. Uh, but then here is our first Everden. The South Kamuna Everden. Um, and a really cool thing in here, too, is that this area gives us a free weapon, so we will be grabbing that. It is the Kuliaku Bow, uh, because on the last monster um, in this area, it is weak to piercing attacks, and Bow is going to be that piercing that we need. The other piercing weapon is Gun Lance, which is not particularly ooh, uh, good for a run like this. Gold Fragment, that's great. We want Gold Fragments, always want Gold Fragments. Uh, but Gunlance is really cool if you aren't uh, using your kinship attack. Um, it just burns through so much kinship. It's really hard uh, to do both your kinship attack and, uh, you know, maintain the the properties of the uh, of the Gunlance. But every weapon has their own uh, little gimmick. That was the wrong menu. This one here and there. Perfect. Uh, but every weapon has its own little gimmick, um, and we're going to be using the weapons that have the simplest gimmick, so we can uh, use the least amount of kinship, so we can make sure we get kinship attacks. Because kinship attacks are strong. Alright, Boldrum. This, this is a very easy fight. It only lasts five turns. Really, so we are going to be speed and speed here. Yep. Yeah, this, this fight's very straightforward. We sit here and mash. That's turn two. I think Kana will get one kinship attack off during this. Oh, Avmar. Come on, a draw. So the thing to note about draws and uh, losses is that when you take that damage, you can be reduced to zero. If you win a head-to-head, -head, you're going to take that damage, but you can't uh, you can't be knocked out from that damage. Um, you'll notice down at the bottom, too, is that we have three hearts next to our health pools. Um, when you are at zero hearts, uh, you, you know, faint, you black out, you Pokemon back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, that's not ideal because we also lose all the resources that we have. Um, we are put back into a town, which in some places that is not convenient. Um, so what we do on fights that we are afraid of, of uh, losing on is we safety save before then, and then immediately, uh, if we lose it, we just uh, close the file and then return. A gnomon, thank you for 20 months. Oh my goodness, 20 months for one lamp, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so that, that Anjanath uh, uh, encountering us there is scripted, and then this chest right here is going to give us our uh, bottle caps, which we aren't going to use yet, but it gives us a whole whopping 10. Oh, I also forgot to split. Oh, this split is still messed up. I keep forgetting to fix that. Oh, that's okay. This is going to say it's a time loss. It's not. It's always forget to split here. So we're not going to leave, and instead we're just going to um, fast travel from here back to Mahana, because that's where we need to go to next. Uh, just a nice little time save. It saves a load screen. Uh, it's one of my favorite pieces of tech in this game. Uh, and it, over, like, the entire course of the run, ends up saving, like, a minute. <laughs> uh, which seems pretty insignificant for this game is at right now, but it's still really nice. 
Oh, this one to skip too. All right. So we're going to go over here and talk to Kana, and then we're going to hatch all those eggs that we've been collecting, because the next fight is a Puke Puke, uh, which we'll want a variety of monsties for. Every town has uh, one of these uh, stables in them. So we can just hatch all of our eggs at once. And then we're going to edit our party. Uh, and then fast travel to North Kamuna Cape. Uh, and then before we go and do our objective, we're actually going to make a detour to another Everden real quick. And we're going to use Bull Drum for the first time. So Bull Drum has a unique field skill called Dash. Uh, not a lot of monsters have this. Uh, so being able to get a Monsky this early in the game that does have it makes navigating a little bit faster. They move at about 1.5 times the normal speed, uh, but your turning radius is significantly reduced. Um, that also being said, uh, you're, you have some forgiveness running into walls with them. Um, you can like rub up against walls. As long as you aren't stopped by a wall, you keep dashing. Coming in there to grab those bottle caps and heading right back to North Kamuna Cape, where we are going to continue to our objective, the North Kamuna Forest. But that's one of my favorite pieces of uh, movement and routing there, um, is just finding Everdens that have a lot of uh, bottle caps in a chest that is very close to the entrance that we can go and grab very quickly. I just think that's so much fun. Because that also is going to save us money in the long run and cut out the necessity of uh, RNG in certain areas, which is really nice. And I am looking out for any uh, rare pickups through here. Um, if there is a gold mining location, I will stop for it. Um, that chest that we just passed is a thousand zenny in it. I don't think I need it anymore, so we're just not going to get it. And we're just going to cruise right on past. See, Ahimi, thank you so much for hanging out. Bye, Ahimi. Getting this line is very hard. Oh, we almost had it, uh, yeah, but it's okay. It's we close. almost we almost dashed all the way through that. Oh, I did hear a sparkly, but I think that was the uh, insect. It was a white insect instead of a blue one. All right, pookie pookie. This fight's pretty straightforward. We're gonna use Bulldrome for it, which is he's already out, um, and then we just need to target the tail to start out. Um, we will be focusing certain uh, body parts on the monsters because we want to get additional part drops from some of them uh, so we can craft materials from them. And also those additional parts are back up for... Um, they're, they're back up for additional money in case I don't get good luck with... Uh, what's it called? Uh, with trading items. Uh, this is a scripted Venom Blaster. This might knock um, either me or Bulldrome out. Uh, we will see here. Yeah, that's probably going to knock me out. I only have seven health now. Oh, two! Oh, the girl go. who lived! And Kenny's going to look out for us by giving us a herb. Yep. Yeah, the buddies are really good about keeping us healed, so for the most part, I won't do that. And plus, this early losing a heart is not that much of an issue. But also, losing a heart is actually kind of beneficial. Um, when you lose a heart, uh, for the next, I want to say, five turns, you have increased kinship uh, gain. And for more hearts that you lose, um, that increases even further. So there's like a times two and a times three. Um... So we can take advantage of that sometimes, which is super cool. Uh, but also the other thing about riding is, is that riding heals you. It gets mm -hmm. rid of the statuses that are affecting you, and it heals you up proportional to your and the monsties' uh, health. Ooh, nice stun. All right, good. And we're just going to keep doing this. Uh, he's going to do a munch time here, uh, which is going to change his AI to power. So now we want to use speed and aim for his head. And then breaking his head right now will result in a topple. Um, he's only got munch time for three turns, 
So we're going to do these two attacks and then uh, do the kinship attack. And look at that. Lined up with Kana perfectly. So we get our level 3 with her level 1 and 372 damage. A big knockdown and we just keep on attacking. Other thing to note there too is that it's really nice getting the kinship ride when it goes into munch time. Uh, when the head is available to hit. Because the head is weak to uh, the hammer, but switching to the hammer takes time. And we would just rather not do that. What were you gonna say, Johnny? Oh no, I was gonna say you also notice that when the uh, monsters are knocked down, we actually get critical hits on them, so we're getting the most, we're getting the maximum amount of damage on that as well. Yeah. So big damage equals big fun. <laughs> you can even see there, uh, me just riding changed Kana's uh, AI, and you know what? Actually, I'm just gonna do this. It's still targeting Kana. I'm just gonna wild ride. Hopefully, that's enough. It's not drooling yet, so I know we aren't close. It looks like Kana's going to get one next. I probably should have just stayed riding there, actually, because um, it's going to do munch time here soon. Uh, it looks like Kana's going to get a ride this turn. Oh, she used Kinship. Uh, yeah, as long as Admar hits, she'll have a ride, which is good. And then we'll see which attack this is. Yeah, it's a head-to-head, -head, but I'm not worried about it. Ooh. Get on the ground. Hit. Sad. So. Get on the ground. Nice. Good crit. Good crit. Avmar getting that crit is huge. Avmar is doing so much damage right now because he is just kind of overpowered. Nice. All right, so we are going to want this egg here too. Uh, Pookie Pookie is one of our, like, like sleeper picks for sure. He is such a good monster, but we only use him like twice throughout the run. Uh, but he is really good in um, fights where you have to fight other riders. Yo, Wisnia, how are you? All right. Last fight before leaving Mahana. We go over here and hatch that Pookie Pookie that we have now. All very good menuing right there. That felt good. And it's not the uh, it's not the most intuitive menu, either. The the party box menu is terrible in my opinion. This is like where fast traveling is awesome because just pretty much any from anywhere, we just fast travel to the next place that we need to go to. So the first time that we're in any area, we are focusing on getting the Catavan stands that we need uh, the first time that we go there. So every time that we go back, when we have to go back, we can just fast travel directly to it. It cuts out so much time just moving around the game. All right, Guardian Wrath of Wood. Uh, we are gonna be here twice. Uh, not necessarily in this category, but throughout the game, we come here twice. Uh, this is just a long run all the way to the back. We're going to pick up one item called the Vital Essence. Uh, Vital Essence are really good. They replenish hearts, uh, in combat. And we'll need that a handful of times, uh, throughout the run, but mostly at the end of the run. It's also just a nice safety thing to, uh, to do. If, uh, I make a, if I do a misinput or just make a bad decision, it's very easy to, like, see technical and then you choose a speed attack because you're not very smart uh yeah no it's, it's just very easy to do that um and a having just one vital essence can save you know you losing six minutes i don't know why you stopped running there but you did let me hit when i have an exam tomorrow oh no I'm sorry about that. Hopefully we can keep you entertained for a little bit, but if you can, make sure you can get some sleep. Oh, no, you're... Uh, guess I'll need to get some good old coffee in the morning. Yeah. I am drinking coffee now because I also didn't go to bed until 2 a.m. last night. This is just a nice stroll all the way back. This is the, the very way to end show here. how beautiful the game is. 
Oh yeah, for sure. This game is stunning. Uh, I was really hoping I could actually get past yeah. that. Oh wait, I wanted to stop here. I have to turn around entirely. <laughs> I was just vibing, man. I was enjoying the scenery. We also want to make sure that we avoid encounters, um, mostly because we have to leave, and then there is... Oh, actually, maybe I should have picked up an encounter here. Because uh, I, I, I had a theory. I'm not going to, but I had a theory. I don't feel like testing it right now. Uh, there's a there's a little theory about encounter seeds and how to manip them in this game. Um, because when you start the game up from a closed program, when you open the program up, it starts the seed at 1. Um... And every time you get an encounter, it increases the uh, the seed by one more, right? So your first encounter is one, then your second encounter is two, and so on and so forth. Uh, that that determines the RNG that that encounter seed. Um, so it's hypothesized that you could carry the encounter seed all the way to the end of the game. Uh, you know, get the best seeds for the job. We're gonna do a cool little manipulation here, where we use Pookie Pookie's tutorial box to stop that encounter. Uh, but then it ran directly in our path. And then we're just going to switch to Yon Cuckoo now. Because that's the one that we need to use for this fight. Because now we're fighting Anjanath. Uh, we're going to switch our weapon to the bow. And we are just going to lay into this thing. Anjanath is cool, uh, but you may notice something. He has this red aura around him. He is under the effects of something called Rage Raid, and we're going to see that throughout the game. And Rage Raid changes these monsters a little bit. They deal more damage. Um, they are unaffected by uh, certain, uh, you know, traps and statuses. Uh, but for the most part for us, we're just going to be lining up these double attacks, taking advantage of that, um, taking advantage of its known AI. And uh, that's super unfortunate. Uh, so we need to switch to Ranmar here because it's now doing power when it enrages. I was trying to get to a kinship attack before that happened, but, uh, you know, can't win them all. If it was targeting me, I could have gotten away with it. Because uh, winning the head-to-head -head won't kill me, right? But it will put me at one health. Um, uh, Legend Gintoki, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome on in. But now we, uh, oh, yes, good. Kana actually used a kinship attack so we can line this up. Uh, he does an attack here called Condensed Heat. As long as everything hits here, she's going to have it. Oh, I was super close. Oh, well. Uh, so we didn't quite line this up with Kana, but that is okay. We're just going to aim at the body again here. I'm actually not going to use this. I'm going to tank this hit. Uh, most likely it's going to knock out Ranmar, uh, and that's fine. But what I can do immediately after that is uh, save this ride for later. Uh, oh, it knocked out me. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to switch back to Boldrum. Uh, but not Boldrum. Hello? That's supposed to be a young Cuckoo. Uh, that's okay. It's not targeting us. Uh, but you can see there is a... Uh, a little effect over my kinship gauge now. I'm gaining kinship and a half, or two uh, two times right now. Yeah, that's the one we want. Wow, you are just going to keep targeting Kana. Yeah, this is the thing that I was talking about. I think the next encounter seed is actually a lot better for, for this monster. Oh, so close. It's so far. Uh, but we'll have our kinship attack after this. Oh, Abmar's going to die because he is burned. Unless it doesn't do six damage. He lives! Oh, let's go. <laughs> so we are going to ride here. I think he does die after this, though. That's fine. Uh, and then now you are doing powers. We want speed. And now we can target the nose. Breaking the nose while it's enraged is going to drop it. Avmar, no. It's okay. Uh, and then we can line this up. Breaking that part nice. is going to result in a knockdown. We're just going to keep attacking. Uh, it also drops his enraged state, too, which is nice. Um, so it's going to go back to doing uh, speed attacks. This is another uh, quick time event, but it's spinning the joystick. I don't like that one, but it's not the worst one. The worst one is the flying one, and you'll see why when we get it, because we will get it. 
Oh, built up her gauge Almost. instantly. That would have been really cool, but that's okay. Because we're going to get our gauge here. And then we're going to ride. The nice thing, too, is that after this fight, uh, we do heal up. Uh, immediately going for that condensed heat, I see. Uh, but he will do one head-to-head -head after this. Which we're just going to win that head-to-head. -head, which might kill him? I don't think so. And then we do a level 3. Stop that burning blast. Get the head break. It's going to drop him. Everyone's going to crit here. And this should be it. 228. Uh, there it is. Nice. nice. Really good, Anjanath. That was really fast. Oh, holy smokes, yeah. <laughs> yep, 55 second. That's huge. Let's go. I only made one mistake, and it didn't result in anything. All right, cool. So, story-wise, because there's a story to this game, we have met this Wyvarian girl named Anna. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to hit that button. Enna knew our grandfather, who was a legendary rider named Red, who rode a uh, monsty called Guardian Ratha. Um, this entire uh, story is about us living up to their expectations, uh, <laughs> which is kind of, kind of, kind of a whoops. Oh my goodness, kind of really crunch. Weird. Not gonna lie, kind of, kind of cringe. Um, but uh, Enna trusts us because Guardian Ratha left behind an egg. Uh, Red is uh, no longer in the picture. Uh, he died years ago. Um, so we're, we're picking up his... Yeah, <laughs> rip. Rip our boy Red. <laughs> um, so we're picking up his legacy. Uh, so the next big area is Alcala. Uh, and this is not my favorite area, but it is one of my favorite designed areas uh, in the fact that we really take advantage of uh, Catavan traveling in this area, which is really fun. I also really think, I think it's really funny that we run maybe 100 feet and then get another <laughs> cutscene. And then more dialogue here. And then we're going to run into the woods. Bimston, is he winning? He's trying to. I'm up a minute right now, which feels good. Um, but so pretty much uh, story elements. We have an egg. We want to hatch that egg. We're going to train the monster inside of it and uh, become uh, the next legendary rider. Real simple stuff, right? Right? You know, real, real simple. Yeah, because who doesn't want to get held responsibilities of your ancestors or something? Yeah. Smile. Smile. Uh, but we are uh, going to go to my favorite village, uh, Ruto Village. It's a Wyvarian village in the trees. It's a great place. Trees. Because all the buildings have cat ears. <laughs> oh my gosh, that load took forever. Uh, let me skip this one. A lot of dialogue to skip this early in the game. Run around that guy, we can get hung up on him very easily. And there's a lot of movement here because they're introducing, you know, a new area to us and the fact that every town, every village that we go to is going to have all the same kind of installations and uh, services in it. Um, so it's kind of just showing us that, hey, all those things exist here. So this is our house over here. And then we've got the stables up here. And then we go back and talk to the chief. Fun. Love tutorials. Oh, yeah. Tutorials are great. Well, we're pretty much over with them. Um, that's kind of... Well, so, okay, so there's one, there's one more tutorial. <laughs> one more. And then that's it. Um... But now we're going to go and accept some more quests. Uh, we've got a bunch of side quests that we have to pick up here, and I have to do them in a very particular way. So I don't accidentally complete that. I don't want to do that yet. 
until I have uh, picked up this quest, uh, Riding Quest 101. And then we want Forging and Head to Heads, so and we're gonna go back to the first page and we're gonna turn that in. Just like that. So the reason why I didn't want to do that is that uh, Riding 101 uh, quest is a quest to do quests. You have to do 10 quests, and we're going to do exactly 10. Um, if I would have turned that quest in beforehand, I would have only had 9, and I would have had to find one more to do. Which isn't hard, but it is RNG. Alright, the Tool Lofty Trees. Hey, more track gathering. Uh, but this section's kind of cool. Because uh, we're going to use Pookie Pookie, my favorite boy. The boy. The boy. So, a Catavan stand, switch our monster to Pookie Pookie. So, Pookie Pookie has a unique skill. It's called Roar. Um, you can't pick up things while you're roaring. So, we do have to use it at specific times. So, we don't, you know, accidentally miss things because of it. Yo, Aho, how are you? Um, but this is just another one of those uh, track gathering sessions. We're going to have a couple of these throughout the game. Uh, this Whether one's pretty straightforward. We also get a couple of uh, pickups as well, right? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's some boxes in here. Um, the most notable one is a heart churro. Uh, that is out of combat heart healing, um, which is very, very helpful later in the run. Um, but I am just grabbing a bunch of stuff right now. Some of it is helping our tracks. Most of it isn't. Um, there are certain uh, there are certain items that are like half eaten or like you know have like a piece of monster fur on it or something. Uh, but the piece that we are most concerned about is the dung. Um, every single set of these tracks always has a dung on it, which is just oh, bear. Oh my gosh. It's always sketchy coming around that corner. That bear likes to run at you. Uh, and that's why we ride Pookie. Uh, the Pookie's roar ability stops the monster from moving and gets rid of their hitbox. So we can roar and then just run right through them. Uh, we will get a Narcacuga later, which has a uh, ability called Stealth. And uh, that one's not as good because you can still run into the monsters. Just felt uh, five on the layer. Nice. All right, Hug. Lumuden. Lumuden's a very important place. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is getting some flash bombs up here. Very, very important tool for later. And then... We're going to run past all these guys. And we're going to go a little out of our way right now. To go get um, an item called the Gathering Charm. Now, uh, Gathering Charms are, uh, are used in a process called an Offering. Uh, and when you give up a charm and an offering, you get a time-based uh, kind of benefit from them. The oh wait no, this one's not gathering. This one's um, uh, buying. buying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is really important because it's going to make our uh, the cost of like upgrading armor and buying uh, new weapons and stuff uh, cheaper. Interesting how you just deaggroed like that. But hmm. sure, I'll take it. I don't know why he did. But I will take it, because he was running directly at me. And yeah, my lines in here have been a little uh, not good. Uh, but now that we got that buying charm, uh, we can go... And that's three of them. Those are the, all the buying charms that we're going to need throughout this run. Because um, it's going to help us conserve money. Uh, it, it's In some areas, it's absolutely required. In most of them, it's really not. Um, but I, I really do like how we use charms throughout this game. All right, Paolumu. This guy is a tech monster, and we're just going to be targeting his body to begin with. Um, he has a unique animation where he flies, and then his uh, neck becomes the weak zone, and it's weak to piercing. Uh, so we'll want to make sure that we get that, because it's also going to interrupt its flying phase uh, and cause a topple. And remember, like Johnny said, those topples result in uh, critical attacks. So we want to make sure that we can line those up. Very good RNG so far. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, we are going to ride here. And if we get head-to-heads, we are going to use them. This hyper vacuum is going to put it into the air. And then now we need to start aiming for the neck. Uh, and during this, it's using speed, so I need to use technical...
We just want to really try to get that neck break. So I'm going to be paying attention to what the uh, companions do too to make sure that we do get that. I can't control the companions, unfortunately, but I can pay attention to how much damage they've dealt and when they're being attacked because I want to try to get up to a level three, but if I can't, um, then I will use my kinship early to try to get that break because it will delay it a turn. I'm going to use this now. Yep, because that's air blast. So that'll delay it a turn and hopefully, hopefully, oh my goodness, uh, power shot. Oops. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. All right. So now that we got that break, that's super nice. Um, that was a mechanic of the bow. Um, you can charge with the bow, and then the next turn you get that power shot. Very, very helpful when the NPCs do that and they actually hit the right places. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen, though. And now we are just kind of going through it again. We need to build up kinship again. Hit. Oh, lethal tackle oh. is uh, unfortunately uh, always a crit, but has a very low chance. Has very low accuracy. We are going to let them kinship attack here. We are not going to do a double kinship because we want to save ours for the topple. Uh, for, for when it does um, Hyper Vacuum, and we want to knock it out of the air. Uh, this one's still. It's going to fly this turn. And it's already drooling, so we know it's low on health. Uh, I just want it to get up in the air before I actually use this. Not targeting me, so we'll just go ahead and do it. There we go. Nice. Nice. Eleven seconds. Let's go. He's doing it. Uh, this is one of those eggs that we don't need, so we are just going to leave immediately. And next is Hars Guy Rocky Hills. I told myself that specifically because my last two runs, I did not go towards Rocky Hills. <laughs> this is uh, where the fast traveling comes in uh, really nifty uh, because the, uh, a tool's a little bit closer to um, the Rocky Hill location. So we just fast travel to it instead of running out of the uh, the village. But fast traveling in this game is just so neat. We use it in so many creative ways. And now we just take a straight shot over to that little hill over there. Yeah, we're gonna get around this uh, this waterfall here and watch these uh, Jaggy and Jagia. Because we kind of have to run off of this slowly, but they just run off of it at full speed. So we can get actually get back attacked here. And it's really unfortunate. Uh, but, simple enough, we're running straight to the objective. This is another area where we'll be picking up the Catavan, but we uh, we won't be using it until later. I'm still going to do that. I uh, probably won't do that in the actual marathon run, because we don't come back to here uh, in flight percent. We come back to here in Ultota percent. Um, but I might just do it because of uh, muscle memory. This, Yeah. Um, this area is unfortunate, uh, only in that it is gigantic, and the fight that we have to do here is obnoxious, uh, because we do it three times. But everybody's favorite monster, a giant rock, a.k.a. Viserios. It's not a rock. It's a boulder. Oh, it's a rock. Uh, but he just spams tech attacks. All we're going to do is just spam power attacks, and we get a kinship attack, we use it. That's pretty much all we do for these first... Uh, for, for the first two encounters with it, and then the third one's the actual fight. 
there's a health gate that we want to get past here, so we're just going to try to do it as fast as possible. And not getting head-to-heads makes it a lot harder. Um, hammer's a very cool weapon to use, just in general. Its mechanic is whenever you uh, win a head-to-head, -head, you get a charge, and then you can use those charges on its skills, uh, and its skills are very strong. Um, but the skills are neutral typing, so they aren't power, speed, or tech. So actually uh, finding a good position to use them in is very difficult. Should be close to that retreat. Oh my gosh, he won one? Look at him go. Let's go. Doing his best. Oh, then he's going to get a ride here. I hope it flees now. All right, good. There. All right, so that's the first encounter. A C? Tragic. <laughs> yeah, if it just doesn't tar uh, target us with head-to-heads, we can't do that any better, really. Then on to the next spot. And this place is gigantic, unfortunately, and we don't have a fast way of navigating it because we don't have Ivy Climb yet. We don't have access to a monstie with Ivy Climb yet, so we can't really get to this quickly. Um, so we just got to take our time and run through it. But wait, Jow, aren't those all Basarios? No, they're not. They're rocks. And there's a clean line through here. It's just getting it is really hard. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> it's him again. He's here. Whatever, shall we? We just hit him. <laughs> Brain off, mashing X. Yeah, so it's essentially how we go saying the same thing. We're just going to keep doing this until uh, Basarios flees. Uh, hopefully we get good RNG. Oops, that was unfortunate. Yeah, the lethal tackle is going to happen. I really have no control over it. Good, good, good. It's all good. It's targeting us. That's what we want. Ooh, not quite. Not quite kinship, <laughs> though. Tragic. Literally at 99. Nice crit. And there we go. There it is. Nice. B. A B. Or... We're doing it. Oh, boy. He's doing good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. Wrong genre. Yeah, yeah. Wrong game. Wrong game. Yeah. That's, the other, that's the game you speed run. <laughs> yeah. Let's look past this bear. Another Catavan stand we do not need. Oh boy, which one is the real one? It's this one. So I did find out something, is that if you interact to the one uh, with the one to the left of this, uh, it starts the fight, but not with the back attack, and then you don't get back attacked uh, uh, still. Um, so hmm. it's kind of interesting. I'm going to play, play around with it to see which one uh, is more beneficial. I just realized that I also picked the wrong weapon. I need to go with bow first and target the wings. So this is now the third and final encounter for this one, so we actually get to kill the monster. Yeah, yeah, this is like an actual fight now. Uh, and after uh, the first couple of turns, Alwyn's going to give us some bombs, and we're going to try to strategically use them, because they do 250 damage, and it, that is not a little bit of damage. Um, <laughs> it just does a flat 250 damage, and so we're going to try to find moments to use them, like right now. Uh, yeah, we can just do that. So if it's not targeting us and we can't help a head-to-head, -head, we're just going to use a bomb. Yeah, because our boy is thick, so most of the weapons we're doing aren't doing as much damage. Mm -hmm. But getting that head-to-head is going to conserve our HP and build up kinship so we can get to kinship attacks. Um, so when we can prioritize head-to-heads, we will. Uh, and then once again, using a bomb when we can. Oop. 
Because the free is 750 damage. There's like no reason not to use it. Hit! Oh, tragic. Uh, looks like we we'll just do this again. Because I think he's going to use... Oh no, he's using a technical attack. Right, good. That's all of our bombs. Now we'll just start using other things. Hit! Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's like 55% accuracy. It is not great. <clears throat> Unfortunate Ice School Realm, because um, we just want to like line up with it, but it did break the wings for us, so that's good. And then now we're going to ride, and we are going to aim for the tail. Shulk is not doing his best, but it is okay. As long as we win these head-to-heads too on the poison gas, that's super important because the poison gas is going to hit everyone and poison them, and it's a really easy way for us just to lose uh, two hearts. When he enrages, he goes power, so we're going to be switching to... Uh, oh, I need to switch this to Iron Sword. And then Tail. Unfortunately, not a double attack here, but we'll still win this head-to-head. -head. We can't lose a heart like this, but you see how much damage we take. That's why I want to prioritize the double attacks. Uh, and since I didn't have Kinship after that Kinship attack, I knew I couldn't um, change Boldrome's skill uh, to use the, the Lethal Tackle instead so we can get it. So unfortunately, we just kind of got to have to take that hit and then uh, hope we get lucky elsewhere. And so now he's drilling, so now we know that we're going to press to the end of here. Just waiting there to see what attack uh, Bulldrum was using. It takes the, uh, a, a couple seconds for the Monsi's attack to come up, and when it's targeting the Monsi, I'd like to know what attack it is. Enraged. It's going to use a um, status attack first, and I can't get ahead of it, so we're just going to bop it. Because even if I uh, even if I use my kinship attack, it's still going to get that rock shield off. So we just bop it first. Depending on how much that does, 186. I'm just going to drop it here. Man, he was very close. Three, not quite. There it is. There it is. Losing a little bit of time there, but that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. Can't really control what these guys do half the time, so. And back to Ruto. So this is the channeling tutorial. That's one of the big mechanics of this game. You can take, uh, the, the Monsies all have a bingo board of genes, a three by three of genes, and you can customize your Monsies using that by using other Monsies as materials. Um, you can take a skill from one Monsie and give it to another uh, through this process here called channeling. It does consume the Monsie that you're moving the gene from. Um, so, you know, you gotta say goodbye to a friend, uh, but uh, it does make your, the, you know, the Monsie that you send it to stronger. Uh, and this one's uh, forced on us. There we go. And we're just giving him a skill that is just more HP. And that's it. We head to a tool after this. For most of Alcala, we'll be heading to a tool. Um, to the to the lofty trees. Uh, but now we get to go across the area. We're gonna go to an Everden. Gonna go to get some bottle caps really quick, and then uh, head on to Yan Garuga. One of uh, one of the harder fights um, this early in the game, only because if we don't have enough kinship uh, by the time it enrages, it can one shot everyone at once, and that's not good 
some more flash bombs here and then right into the Everden. And once again, we're only going into Everdens that have chests close to the front uh, and that have a significant amount because in some Everdens, this can only be like one or two. Um, and when we grab this one here, uh, it's going to be six bottle caps for us. And that's a lot. Also, something to note, we haven't upgraded our equipment yet. Uh, we're still using more or less the beginning equipment and beginning armor. We're actually going to be upgrading after this fight. Uh, and you'll see why we don't do this often. One, because it costs a lot of money. Two, because it costs a lot of materials. And three, because it takes a second to do. It's not fast, Ooh. so we don't try to do it a bunch. Jeez, I don't know how you were able to thread that needle there, but kudos. Oh. You just do. <laughs> you don't ask questions. You just do. Uh, so I do have maps in front of me. Uh, just to remember to where where to go. You may have noticed by now that a lot of these uh, locations that we go into look the same. And even the static locations are still using elements, still using rooms that are used in procedural generation. Um, so they all kind of look the same. Uh, so I have I have maps just to kind of help guide me, just so I remember where to go and what what areas to turn into, and where specific items are in case I need to um, divert or derail for an optional item. Um, I have tried to do this run without maps before, and it is difficult. And I have put probably as much time into making maps and routes for this game as I have played it, uh, playing it. Uh, we are going to have to switch to Pookie here, get past these guys. Like I said, uh, once they start bunching up in a hallway like that, uh, we just... Ah, do. When there's a text box up on the screen, you can't open the menu. And I was trying to open up the monster menu there. <laughs> Navidu opened his mouth at the same time I was trying to open the menu. All right, Yangaruga. Uh, so this is a tech monster when we start out, so we already have Bulldrum, so we're good on power attacks. So we're going to be aiming for its tail first, because we need to... Oh, you you sick, twisted individual. No. All right, well, he's going to lose that head-to-head -head immediately. Uh, but we want to break his tail. Very unfortunate. This might kill him. Wow, 19. Oh. Right. It was close. Uh, but that's actually good, because we're going to get this power attack with uh, Shulk. Ooh. We want to break that tail ASAP. Uh, he has a uh, a tail attack that is... Uh, oh, we're going to see it because I can't stop it. This potent tail spin. Whoo! Big Ooh. damage and it poisons. And then he has another attack that is called Poison Chaser. Um, so we really need to pay attention to our health and his AI. I don't want to be giving up hearts here because we are, we are kind of just like in one-shot range all the time against this fight. Uh, so it's very, very scary. I am going to ride here as well to get rid of that. And I'm not going to take that. Because when we get to the next uh, phase of this, I want to be able to break his head. Which looks like we're, we're looking like we'll be in a good spot for. Alright, so we need to start using speed attacks. Why are you not using a speed attack? Sir, please, you like speed attacks. But now we want to break his head. Um, and I'm also going to try to line this up to stop um, a fire breath attack. Hey, Alwyn, you want to, like, heal yourself? Mm. Uh, nope, which is, gonna go technical. I think, right here. Yeah, fire blaster. Skip that fire blaster, and then we're looking for the red to go away to tell us that he's out of enrage. Yep, there we go. It's also going to replenish some of our kinship. We, we kind of uh, wait to use our kinship, too, in certain spots so we can line it up with um, those quick time events because they happen at certain points in the fight. Wow, that crit. He's okay, though. Just never healed himself, and I'm not going to heal him. That's slow. Making sure that we have that power attack. That's good. Oh, he's going to have increased uh, kinship gain, too. That's actually going to work out really well for me. You also notice that this time around, too, he's not going to do that noxious tailspin. Um, and instead, 
to get that cheeky knockdown. Oh, nice. Uh, and then I'm going to take this and get a crit on it. Because the next time that it enrages, we do not have a knockdown. So I just want to try to get as much damage in here as possible. It is already drooling. Should be close to death. You can see I don't do that much damage. Which is why we want to be doing head-to-heads uh, -head and double attacks. Since it's going to deal more damage. Uh, we can actually take advantage of that. Oh, nice. Good crit. There it is. Nice. nice. There it is. It's a good fight. Good young Garuga fight. Yeah. And only two second time loss. Let's go. We take those. We do take those. Absolutely, we take those. All right. So now we get to do crafting. Uh, this movement's going to look a little weird. Uh, because we have to go to the quest board first to get uh, gathering charms first, and then we're gonna go and talk to the the, mel the pot here, the lucky pot. It's it's gonna look a little weird, but I'm just gonna kind of do it, and then I'll explain what I did afterwards. So we're making uh, two offerings here, because that's one of our quests. I'm going to use the Gathering Charm first, because when we use a second charm, it's going to override the first one that's already active, because I want the Buying Charm active here first. And I also want to save the other two Buying Charms. Uh, so we're going to activate both of those, and we're going to come back here and complete. And then uh, I don't think... Oh, yeah, yeah, crit hits, but I think I already took it. Uh, nope, it's right there. Yeah, yeah. And then now... We are going to sell off our trade-in items. Not a lot that we got off of that, but we'll see how much we can actually make. We're going to start with weapons. We're going to get some tutorials here, but we want this. Oh, we are good on items. We're going to want the crowbow. And then we're going to go out. Forge. Uh, we need 2200. So I see to sell some items really quick. Uh, which we can start with these that we just replaced because we don't need to use. And now we're good to make that. All right, so the only thing that we haven't upgraded is our sword and shield because we're going to do that after this next fight. But I need the hammer at a minimum uh, for this next fight to go by smoothly. Because uh, the next fight is... A monster and a half. Yep, the tool. And then we're going to the one wood, right. And now... We're supposed to find kids, because somehow they got lost in the woods. Yeah. Who let these kids out in the woods, honestly? <laughs> yeah, so it's our job to go find these kids. That's the, that's the current... That's the current crisis at home. Yeah. Don't kids worry about got lost. anything else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this actually, I remember doing this casually. It took me like two hours to do because I couldn't find one of the kids because n uh, all three of them aren't there when you first get here. They're they actually spawn one after the other after the other because you have to encounter them in a specific way in in, in order. And uh, very annoying, very annoying because you, I mean, you could just run in, around in circles and <laughs> not find it for hours. Catavan stands a little bit further into um, the Alcala Valley than the one in a tool lofty tree, so we grab it. Whoops, I hit the wrong button there. So there's our first kid. Telling everything's okay, and we got them. Then on to the next. Then on Rory, we're also going to pick up another uh, chest here for another, I believe, thousand zenny. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like in the way of where we're running anyways, so I just make a small detour to grab it. Just a little extra thousand is going to help with our next upgrade, especially because you saw how money poor we are right now. Because uh, the other way to get traded items is RNG off of quest rewards, so getting multiple part breaks means we get more rewards. Getting a higher uh, score on an encounter means more rewards. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. Ooh, God. <laughs> 
All right, so that was our first uh, accidental encounter, and all the way up to here, that seems pretty good. Because uh, this yeah. area is pretty tight. Uh, I like to thread through there, because especially even right here. Uh, there's a Tetsukabra that can be kind of annoying, but we got lucky. All right, kid two. Yeah, so close. We almost got past that, but we we're just getting cut off by a Velocipray on one side, and then the Arzuros kind of turned itself into us. Mind you, we're sending these kids back on their own because we're hoping they could find their way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting that out there. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Um, oh, you were in such a bad spot. Ooh. Uh, and so now we got to find the third kid, which you can hear crying right now. <laughs> And then our next monster fight, uh, the mountain himself, Duramboros. So he starts power, so we want to switch uh, to Randmar, and then I am going to be using... Uh, I think I want to cut his... I think I want to break his leg first. Um, we're going to be using the hammer here, even though it's not optimal damage. Um, it is a It is a stronger weapon, so we are just going to deal a little bit more than normal. But I'm going to start aiming for this leg first. Uh, the leg's going to result in a trip, and when the leg is broken, um, he starts falling over uh, after he uses an attack. Um, the, the last attack in his enrage cycle, which is like the spinning tail of something or other. I want to start with getting this, this leg broken as fast as possible. I'm just going to do this. Ideally, he'll enrage before we break it. Just looking like it's going to be the case. Perfect. Because uh, now we need to do power. Because he has switched to tech. And if we can get the trip during the enrage cycle, he drops enraged, which is great. Great for us. So we've got one more chance here. We should be fine. Yep, perfect. And then I'm going to have enough kinship for the hammer attack. You guys ready to see a really big number? Yeah. Woo! 560. Ooh, Feels nice. good. You just switch back to Velocidrome after this, too. Because he's going to go back to being unenraged. Go back to Ranmar. And continue the cycle. But now we're going to attack the tail. Breaking the tail is going to stop him from doing two spinning at uh, tail attacks. So he'll only do one now, which is very helpful for us. Ooh, that was actually really good luck with the uh, Icicle Realm. Nice, he broke the tail. Sick. Nice. And then this will get us our ride, which we'll take to level three, because we don't have any more parts to break. And we should get the majority of the head-to-heads here, as we don't get a head-to-head. -head. <laughs> he says. I know. Making me a liar. So now that he's in rage, we're going to start switching over uh, to Tilpy Tech will be power. So we're at a level 3, but I'm going to wait until after this next head-to-head uh, -head because we can cancel the giant spin uh, by using our kinship attack. Thank you for the heal. At least I think we can. If I remember correctly, we can. Yep, all right, cool. Yep. Uh, you are using the wrong attack. I don't have a speedster, so we're just going to do this. It's getting close to death anyways. If we lose a heart here uh, because of AI, it's, it's fine. There we go. Much better. Yeah. 
and it may just seem like I'm mashing right now. I am looking at all of the AI to make sure that it is favorable for the situation. I want to make sure that I'm getting double attacks. That's what I'm prioritizing every single time. I want him to die here. Okay, he didn't. Nope. Uh, but we are going to double kinship here, and that'll kill him. The only reason I wanted him to die before this is because this takes a little bit to do. Wow, and he is oh. still alive. All right. Uh, that's hmm. okay. I've got a lot of kinship on Boldrum. And no one's lost hearts, so we are perfectly fine. And look at that kinship. Mm -hmm. so hopefully this does kill him. Nice. There it is. Yeah, it looks like we're losing a few seconds here, but that's okay. Got one gold item in there, which feels good. That's a trade-in item. And so then now we're going to get our Durambaros SNS. Uh, so that's our uh, slashing upgrade. So we're going to be getting rid of the Iron Sword here. Uh, it's this one. I need 49. It's a little bit more. Um, this is when it kind of gets annoying because we got to find something uh, to sell and quickly and also something that you don't need. Uh, we're done with Baruga parts. Oh my gosh, I need so much money. Seven... 49, that's enough. We still got our discount on that too, but uh, the game's a little bugged with um, the buying charm in that you still need the amount of money for the normal purchase, but then you get the bargain price. All right, so now we're going to be fast traveling to the Wenwood, and we're going to be going to West of Tool Forest uh, for our next fight. Can I sneak around Pekko? I can. Good. Uh, that Cora Pekko can just stand in that hallway sometimes, and it's really annoying. Uh, then you have to, like, ride Pookie Pookie instead. It's just situational awareness kind of thing. Um, is it going to bum rush you the moment you spawn in or when you start running towards it? Straight down, stay to the left. Oh, very God. close. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to give you a hug. He really did. I gotta switch here. Yeah. So something you can do is immediately roar and then switch back and you get that flinch animation. So then you can start sprinting away again. Uh, it's just one of the small optimizations for using Bulldrum Sprint in the right ways. We're going to do the same thing here, but this time we're going to ride all the way through because this thing's kind of annoying. Uh, and I'm watching the icons on the map to make sure that they de-aggro from me before I get back onto Boldrome. Sometimes you can get away with it, but I kind of want to play it safe and not get any more encounters than I need to. All right, next is Nargakuga. This fight's a lot of fun. Uh, cause it's very easy and kind of RNG because um, this is going to be our first instance of double attacks. I need to switch you to you. Uh, when this monster enrages, he does two attacks instead of just one. Um, so we kind of have to play a little bit differently, um, but that's not going to be relevant until later in the game. Instead, now we're just going to unga bunga our way through. Uh, the tail is weak. Uh, his entire body is weak to piercing, and we want to break the tail first to stop a spreading attack. 
um, that it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just kind of annoying to deal with. Oh, nice. And we already got it. Yeah, it's it's the, his tail is super weak, um, so we can just kind of power our way all the way through that. And we're going to get some hits onto the head, and once the head's broken, we'll just be focusing the body the entire time. <clears throat> um, so what we're going to be doing uh, also here is when it enrages, after it enrages, it's going to be using um, an attack called Killer Fang. Uh, that's going to give it a uh, increased damage to all of its attacks. We don't like that, so we're going to interrupt it. Oh, no, it's, it's called uh, Sharpen Fang. My bad. My bad. We don't like Sharpen Fang, so we're just going to get rid of it because now he's doing two attacks and we're going to have Boldrome out. Um, and I'm still going to be taking advantage of double attacks, but then he's going to do a second attack and it can target it can target anyone after that line. So um, how we deal with that is, is a little weird. And I'll talk about it later when it's more relevant because it's a lot easier to see. But what we have to do is split up our attacks using uh, weapon skills. Uh, depending on who it's targeting to, we have to change how we do that because if we outspeed the, uh, the pair that is in the head-to-head -head, we're gonna attack first like this uh and then it's going to attack and then we get hit anyways uh so that's what i'm talking about the double attacks right it's a little hard to kind of control those and right now it's not too terribly scary um because he's only enraged for three turns and then after that he just goes unenraged again and we repeat the cycle um and i was hoping that uh i wouldn't get crit and one shot and like completely um, but it did happen. Uh, and I'm going to take this moment to heal, and we're going to do a double kinship. Because we can. It's back to speed attacks. Nice. And then we're going to switch to Yankuku again. Hoping switching to Yankuku changes Alwyn's AI. It didn't. Uh, but that's good, because he'll double with Cuckoo. I'm just hoping for a... are going to line up, too. Uh, yeah, they should. Uh, uh, he's going to use charge here. Yeah, but we should be able to line him up. Uh, looks like a turn a little early, so we're still going to do this to stop the um, Sharpened Claws. Sharpened Blades, whatever it's called. The sharpening. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and then when he gets his kinship, we'll get a little bit of a brief respite um, from damage. Just unfortunate again, because we're all going to outspeed all in here because he used charge. Ooh, I might get lucky. Wow, that also crit, and I even stopped sharpened blades. But then we get a head-to-head -head, uh, here. It's very, very weird. Um, we are not going to try to build this up, only because um, because it's double attacking. It can target me and Boldrome, and then just knock us off the ride, and then it's just a complete waste of time. So we're just kind of trying to push for damage as fast as possible before it can just kill us all. Like this. Oh, he lived. All right, cool. Oh, the head-to-head -head hey. damage killed him. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is the first instance of a rider fight. What we want to do here is try our best to win. Oh, oh my gosh, he uses speed there. I completely forgot. I was just mashing. All right, but he should switch his AI immediately after this. Man, he should switch his AI, and we're gonna win the head-to-head -head with with uh, with the power attack. Let's try this again. Life suit, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh my gosh, he crit. Man, all right, it's fine. It's fine. All right, and then try again here. Ugh, that should have been a technical attack. I don't know what happened, man. I can't believe we threw that. I honestly can't believe we threw that. Um, but we wanted to <laughs> because <laughs> uh, we don't have to win that fight. And losing it in two or three turns is faster than trying to win. <laughs> we lose absolutely nothing losing that fight. Uh, instead, we are going to actually get a real reward now and, and get our Nargakuga egg. It's going to be our second speed monster, which is awesome. Nargakuga is a great monster. It has the fastest generic moving speed 
um, that isn't a dash speed. So for areas that have a lot of like tight turns and stuff like that, we use Nargakuga. And it also has that uh, ability as well, where it kind of goes hidden in the shadows, so you're able to sink by a couple of the monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, but like how Bagel said earlier, you are still, uh, you still do get a hit zone off of it. Yeah, so we can still get uh, stuck into encounters and, and everything. Uh, so we're going to go hatch our good old Nargakuga that we just got, and then head off to the next area. Yo, Garlic Drone. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, hello? What did I Dundee, just do? Right there. There we go. <laughs> that menu is not intuitive. I hate it. Uh, we won't be using Nargakuga until after our first uh, fight with it. Once we use it, once we have it in our party for one fight, it'll be our level, which is, I believe, 12 right now. And then back to the Wynwood. Oh, I have my I have this in my notes wrong. Yeah, I should say Wynwood, not West of Tool. West of yeah, Tool does not have it. a uh, does not have a Catavan stand in it. Wow, lying. Yeah. Oh, we should. Nice man. I love it when I love it mm -hmm. when Pekko is walking away. OMG, a rare den. Doesn't matter. Golden dens like that. So these are the procedurally generated things. This is like the gimmick of the game. You go in there, you find rare eggs. Uh, they have more skills or uh, more stats uh, or possibly unique skills. Uh, or it could be like a rare monster that you don't find often. We don't want or need any of that. It's RNG. It can just be a pure time loss. There's no requirement to do that. So we just pass them. All of the eggs that we pick up are guaranteed to be in those locations. All right, Mount Hars guy. This area mm -hmm. is a movement nightmare. We're gonna do our best. <laughs> when would more like where would? Oh, Ooh, got him. Oh wait. Uh, so during this, we do have to uh, get some drawbridge uh, drawbridges down. So we are gonna have to do this at least three times. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> six six or seven oh. but after we do it once we get to start skipping the cutscenes uh, but during this time as well Vagel is going to get a uh, vital essence on the way mm -hmm. yep we're going to be using uh, Yon Cuckoo's field skill uh, to break a rock to get that uh, and that's just like where having a variety of monsters really helps uh, in the exploration aspect of things because it gives us access to uh, areas that have items that we want. Oh, hey, look, a rock. Not anymore. That gives us two vital essence. Nice big safety stuff there. Uh, I didn't turn yet. Uh, all right, we're good. Uh, so now the drawbridges don't have levers. Uh, somebody's trying to sabotage us, uh, so we have to go and find them, and they're in these little beautiful red chests. At least they left them in a fairly decorated chest for us to find. Yeah, find them easily. Yeah. Oh no, his evil, very evil plan is ruined. <laughs> Whatever shall we do? So for the most part, uh, getting encounters in here is pretty easy to avoid. Um, this Paolumu can be annoying sometimes. Oh, hey, look at that. I ran directly into it. <laughs> Oops. I thought you could go under that. I uh, was a few pixels away from the tail hitbox, which isn't a hitbox. I, I like literally just tapped the very tip of it. But he was like in the perfect spot to be in the way. Which is okay. I mean, it's not too much of a issue. We're going to get a couple of counters here and there. It's going to happen. Taking a little shortcut here. And we're going to switch to Pookie here just to be safe. Stop these things from chasing us. And then switch back to Bulldrum.
there's two drawbridges here that we're gonna have to get past. So we're gonna go grab one more lever. Past one of my favorite monsters. Oh, love Ludroth. Spongy. Love that sponge. SpongeBob SquarePants who? Nah. I don't know him. <laughs> it's all about my boy Ludroth. <laughs> All my homies love Ludroth. I have never heard that noise before. I don't know what that noise was. Uh, this one's a little weird, so I'm just going to switch to Nargakuga. We actually get to see stealth for the first time. Whoa, where'd he go? Um, so Nargakuga has a, a faster move speed than most other monsters, it's like 1.15 or 1.25, but you see that the monsters are not enraging or interacting with us anymore. Uh, we can just use that to our advantage to get past areas that have monsters in them that are tight turns, uh, and then, you know, once we get past them, just dash out of there. Uh, so we're going to take a safety save up here. Um, in some areas, there will be these feline burrows. We can go inside of them uh, to heal ourselves, to save at a catavan stand or fast travel from the catavan stand. Uh, and then they always have a box in it that has a helpful healing item. Just a nice little extra. And that's a life powder. And that is, uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. It's okay, it doesn't change anything. Just now it's nighttime. Let's go look prettier. Uh, you know, it's up and then, <laughs> whoops. Uh, and then we're gonna go back out. It's gonna look nicer. That's it. That's it. That was strategic, by the way. Oh, look at that! Look at how up. look at how pretty it is here now. It's now it's evening. It's afternoon. Oh, it's beautiful. Actually, it's very pretty in this <laughs> game. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next fight is another rage raid monster. Um, these pits have been opening up all throughout the world, this gigantic hole, and then now this light is exploding out of it, which is causing these monsters to go rage raid. Um, and so now we are fighting them, uh, trying to uh, stop them from being so angry. Um, we're going to target the tail here first. Um, it results in a knockdown, but it doesn't stop her poison flip attack, which it looks like she's aiming at either me or at Alwyn. If she hits me, I die. If she hits Alwyn, he gets to half health, and that's ideal. Um, but the first time that she does Toxic Somersault, she only does one. The second time she does it, she does two, and then she enrages. So we're going to try to hope that we get good RNG here and get as many head-to-heads, which we didn't. It's okay, though. Uh, because when it goes into its next phase, its enraged phase, we'll have more opportunities to get that head-to-head -head damage. Uh, but now she's going to do two, and I'm going to switch to the Crowbow and do an Absolute Evasion. Um, so what that is, uh, I cannot get hit once. Because um, I don't know where that second target is going to be, and I will 100% die to a Toxic Somersault, but everyone else will live. See, look at that. Sick Ooh, Evade. Nice. It's a safety strat. Uh, and then now we're going to switch to Ranmar. Because she has now power. We want to switch back to this. Um, she's still doing single attacks. Uh, so we can now target the tail. And we need to pay attention to here. Her first uh, non-targeting, uh, non-head-to-head -head attack is a single fireball. Um, that looks like it's targeted at all in. He is going to lose a heart, but that is okay. He can lose hearts. But then the second one is a double fireball, which Pookie Pookie can serve, or not double fireball, excuse me, a uh, sweeping fireball attack that hits everyone, which we can either cheese with a, um, with a ride here, uh, which I think I'm gonna do. Because we can't lose a heart while on uh, on a kinship ride. Instead, the monster's health goes to one. Uh, but it looks like we are to survive, which is awesome. Because now we can use this to stop uh, Toxic Somersaults, which... He's just going to hit that. We're going to attack the tail and break it. That's a result in the knockdown. Oh, man, I want to take advantage of that, and I'm going to... Nice. Because we're going to switch to Yon Cuckoo. 
That's actually great for Ranmar. Uh, that's still good. Uh, I'm actually gonna heal Shulk so he doesn't die. Thank God he did that. <laughs> yep. And then if I get kinship here, oh, I'm so close. Uh. Um, I could have stopped the double toxic somersault. Uh, one's targeting you, so I think I'll take my chances and we're gonna switch to Crobo. Uh, Yan Cuckoo should survive that. And then we're gonna evade. And just hope it doesn't hit Shulk. Yep, he survives, and then me. Nice. Let's go. Uh, in rage, we switch back to Ranmar. I should have not done that because he was on speed. Please stay speed. Oh, great, dude. Great. Uh, I don't need that one. I want this one. Just a little healing, too. So he just lost a heart. I might have to use a Vital Essence here. That is targeting Alwyn again. Which he'll survive. I just need it to target me for a head-to-head -head next. Alright, good. And now I'm going to ride. And I'm going to use this. So they all survive. Good. Everyone lived. Crab rave. You would have lost that. Sad rave. And then now you guys ride. Good. I switch to Yon Cuckoo. Doesn't matter what it's doing now because they're going to cancel this um, Toxic Somersault with a Icicle Realm. Nice. Getting close to death. This is going to be a head-to-head. -head. Uh, that's an unfortunate one, but they're going to tie, so it's not going to be too much damage. And it might actually die right here. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yeah. We lost a lot of time there, but that is A-OK. -okay. That's uh, almost time on Hatch Percent, uh, the first any percent category. So before that ends, we have to go back to Ruto. And then that's time on Hatch Percent. Still good. Good, good Hatch Percent. Not the best, but a good one. Uh, this is what I was talking about, fun uh, Catavan movement. It's one of my favorite things to do. Instead of running back to the beginning of a, like, to the entrance of a, of a town, we fast travel to it. <laughs> Especially this one, because it puts us right next to Alwyn. It's a few seconds faster, and we just talk to him immediately. And then we grabbed this Catavan a little bit ago, uh, before we went in and fought Rathian. We're just going to do it again. Uh, this is Alcala Highlands. You can see how much closer it put us to our next objective. <clears throat> Listen, we do we do anything to go fast. All right, welcome to Area Three, Lalaska. 
Velasca is a very cool area. Literally. Get it? Very cool. <laughs> very funny. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Uh, but this uh, introduces environmental uh, effects. Uh, so we are under the environmental effect of Frostbite right now. Frostbite uh, works kind of like p paralysis in Pokemon, um, where you just have a random chance of just losing a turn. Uh, and that's not great. So we're going to use... The game gives us three Hot Mist. We're going to grab some more. Um, and we're going to use those strategically to conserve them throughout the run. Uh, so we can avoid... Frostbite. That's a really good line. No! He says Aww, immediately messing it up. We could have gotten around that corner a little bit, but we, we're going to have to stop there anyways. That corner is a little too sharp, just like this one. And then... Cutscene. Cool. You guys like frogs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Borg. Round friend. We're going to be building up a lot of kinship here. Our goal is just to yeah. build up a bunch of kinship attacks. So this fight does start off with attack, so we are going to be fighting it with the uh, power first. Um, and then I believe a little bit into it, it's going to start doing what's called an ice armor, where it's going to switch it up to speed. Uh, so we'd have to keep an eye out for that. Yep, it's already doing ice mantle. Look at that. I just want to build up a bunch of kinship attacks right now, so that's why I'm switching between all the monsters, because uh, I want to have just, like, legitimately just three kinship attacks back to back to back after this. Look at that bird go. Uh, and then this is speed. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I've been attacking the wrong thing the entire time. Forest! Everybody come on the forest! Raider Raid! <laughs> my name is Jal Vagel. I speed run Monster Hunter Games. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You don't have that yet. Oh my goodness! Forest, thank you so much for 12 months! That's a year! Hello? What the oh. heck? Use that money elsewhere. Guys, welcome on in. If you guys don't know me, my name is Jal Bagel. I speedrun Monster Hunter Games. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're doing a commentary run uh, for prep for uh, for later this week, for this weekend. You actually can't die to that attack. It always puts you at one. Um, so I, that's why I wasn't like worried. Um, and then right here, I'm actually going to switch monsties. So I can uh, double up on this. Yeah, we're going to switch to pig. Well, welcome on in, Forrest. How was your stream? What were you guys up to? You guys are playing for you, I think, right? Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> we can do this. Uh, hey, this is Avenia. We haven't talked about Avenia mm -hmm. yet. She's here. We haven't talked about most of our friends here, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we really uh, haven't. So yeah, so every once in a while, uh, in part of the story, we're going to get switched out our uh, partners. Uh, so before it was Shulk and I always forget the other guy's name. Um, Alwyn. Alwyn, there you go. And then now we have Avinia and Frostbane. Uh, hey, it's a Baryoth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Baryoth. He does about as good as a Baryoth can do. Yeah, they're best. Oh, playing World and very sleepy. Go do sleep. I appreciate the raid, though. Guys, if you don't know if you don't know Liz, Liz is one of my very bestest friends, and you should definitely go and check her and her stream and her content out. They're amazing. I, I, one could even say poggers. One could even say. Speedrun, yeah, no king. Uh, actually, I will hold off. I want to line that up with Avenias. Thank you for that. Nice head hat too. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Enough for the big whammy. 894 and a mm. crit. Feels good, man. Mm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot me a message whenever you want.
Yeah, Nyx is doing power, so we're just trying to line up this next kinship attack. Could be close to death, though. Nice crit. Oh my gosh. You guys are gaming! Bug the bagel? Absolutely. That's what I do every day. There we go. Nice. Nice, we got a uh, gold item out of that. Cool. So we're going to take a little bit of a detour here to do a couple things. We're going to grab some hot mists for free. They're just sitting out here in the wild. And then we're going to unlock a catavan stand before we head to Kuan Village. If that was a gold node, I would grab it. It's not, so I'm just going to open this. Let me just turn right back around. Turn the bull around. Monka steer is in all caps. The steer part mm. is in all caps, I think. But yeah, it should be in there, and if it's not, I'm going to scream. Because I know I added it. Yeah, it's all caps. Well, the steer is all caps. So like I was saying before, we're really close to that Catavan stand, and when we leave uh, Kuon Village next, uh, we're going to be going like way down the mountain. That's going to cut out half the case, uh, or half, half the uh, the travel to the next area that we're going to. This is uh, Kuon Village. It's my second favorite village. Um, not my first, my second. Uh, but we're finally going to uh, exchange all of those... Um, Bottle caps. Yeah, all those bottle caps we've been gathering for some purple Ludroth armor. It's not very purple. Mm. Wow. Or pink. I feel chipped. Yeah, no, you feel ripped off for sure. Oh my god, look at Frostfang just sleeping back there. <laughs> Holy... That's cute. a meter and a half. Oh, it's too cute. But now you look comfy. Look at yeah. You. So we do this mostly for the defenses. Um, there's really nothing else that this armor is going to do for us that's going to change anything. It's literally just for the defense. It makes us survive a couple of things, not a whole lot. Um... It's just a little bit safer. I mean, if we get if we get crit, we get crit. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. And that's generally the case when we die, is just because we got crit. <laughs> like with the Nargakuga. Yeah, like with the Nargakuga. I kind of expect to take a heart on the Nargakuga fight. So that's not too much of an issue. So we're going to head out here first to talk to uh, an NPC, and then uh, we're going to be fast traveling down the mountain. Oh, look at their windmills. Aren't those nice? Yeah, shame if something happens Man. to them. <laughs> I hope they stay forever. Yeah, I hope those never go away. I hope, like, a major incident doesn't happen in the story where they're just gone. I'd be yeah. pretty upset. Yeah, me too. All right, so down the mountain. We're going to go grab another Catavan stand down here. You can see it in the distance. Oh, what's that? That is a royal monster. That is a Gameth. We do not want to mess with that. It is that very will, strong. That will absolutely destroy us in one. I also don't know its attack sequences, so <laughs> we can't even cheese it. Uh, instead, we're going to go down here to Lalaska Forest, and we're going to go fight a big spider. If you have arachnophobia, look away here in a bit. Because, uh, I mean, it's it's a, it's a big spider. It's it's big spooter. <laughs> it is not your friendly neighborhood spider. Man. <laughs> All right, get those guys didn't hit me. Oh, you walked into <laughs> the worst possible spot. But we still got that angle. We're good. I right, passed all these guys. I'm also looking out for rare, or uh, excuse me, um, gold mining nodes because uh, they appear in here often. No, oh, I 
almost oh dropped the edge. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Monka steer. Everything's fine. <laughs> I was more worried about the fact that you also did get hit by that bug. Yeah, I don't know how that didn't happen. Uh, this one we are gonna switch to Pookie, and this is what I've been talking about. We haven't really been able to show it, but you just run right through them. Look at that. <laughs> Bagel Roar can't equals. drive. It's true. Yeah, we didn't let him drive in California, by the way. Yeah. Anyways, for, here's for Spider. Anyways, here's Spider Wall. Uh, so we're going to be using Boldrome <laughs> for this fight, uh, and we want to break its uh, needle as fast as possible to stop some really obnoxious needle attacks. Uh, that thing's weak to piercing, so we're just going to switch to this, attack the needle, and hope it goes away quickly. It's first hit. It's a good hit. Ooh, there we go. That's a... Oh, I'm not even going to get that head-to-head. -head. Please hit the needle. Please hit the needle. No, that's the oh. head, you idiots. Oh, nice. That oh. hit the needle. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Poggers. Nice. Uh, but it is so. using Sleeping Needle now, which is really unfortunate. And we also want a kinship attack here before it enrages because it uses an attack called Tech Seal. And we just do not want it to do that. All right. So that's broken. It's stunned for a turn. Please. Uh, that'll, that'll do. I don't remember <laughs> what this is weak to. I really need Bulldrome to hit whatever this attack is, so we have the kinship. Good. Because now we get to cancel this, so nobody gets um, tech sealed, and then we can continue. Uh, what's tech seal, by the way, Bagel? Tech seal is a status condition that stops us from using any attack that is a technical attack. Um, because when it enrages here, it switches to speed, so it doesn't want us to use technical attacks. It's a very, very smart that spider. Jerk. Very smart spider. I think I need that. Make sure that we're lining these things up. We want to break stuff, right? Because we want those uh, higher chances at um, the additional rewards. And then I also have to pay attention to its enrage cycle when it drops enrage. So I know to change my attack that I am using. It's still in rage now, so it's still using speed attacks. Um, the way to tell is that it's it's like movement animation changes and its face is no longer glows red, which you can sometimes see while it's on the ground. And hey, look, it changed. Um, oh, Avenia actually wins that, so we'll let her do that. It's actually gonna work out really well for me because they're gonna have kinship. We're going to have a level three, and we get to do a big drop on this. Let's go. Big, big drop. Damage. 1,006. Uh, that feels good. <laughs> Switch back to the Bulldrome. Um, and I'm not really worried about breaks anymore. We're just going to push out damage. Hey, look at that instead. That was good. Puts us back in the green. Let's go. Yo, Pog. 46 second time save. Hello? Wait, what? <laughs> Other really nice thing about fast traveling to Kuon, it's literally open the fast travel map, press right once. It's very easy to fast travel back to Kuon Village. So now we tell Chief Doll, like, hey, there was a spider out there, but we took care of it. <laughs> Weird, we found a spider. It's like, all right, cool. Go find something else to murder. <laughs> like a bear off next, maybe. Now, there's there's a fun little story to this. Um, you know, each place that you go to, they kind of like, uh, don't mind me, I'm forgetting what to do. There is a, there's always like a neat little, you know, like reason why you're adventuring. These guys here, uh, this is actually, Avenia is from the first stories game. Um, and this is her village that was ravaged by the Black Blight in the first game. And so all of the villagers here kind of trust the story of Guardian Ratha and trust that rider. Um, and so, yeah, base. And so when we're adventuring around, um, they're like, yeah, we like you or some something. This one. Uh, and then we are, don't need to use that yet. We can use it when we get inside. I always get confused which way this is because they all look the same. Looking out on the edges here too for golden pickups. There's a lot of mining nodes coming up into this area, but we only want the gold ones. 
and no gold ones. Pog. <laughs> but this area <laughs> cool. is literally a mine. Um, and so we will be using Narga in here. And we're going to use a hot mist. And then we're just going to be looking around for golden locations to pick up. Why only the gold ones? Because the gold ones give us a higher chance to get trade-in items. And trade-in items are what we use um, to kind of maintain our money throughout the game. Because we get poor real quick. I am going the wrong way. Go this way. I am really surprised that none of these have been gold yet. Wow, this is very bad luck. Not a single gold node yet. Oh, uh, it's this way. Please? Gold. Hmm? That's not the gold thing that I'm usually mm -hmm. looking for, but it is a gold thing but. that I will absolutely take in this situation, which is uh, down. Which is, I haven't seen any gold nodes yet. And this Get is... Get a dialogue box here. Wow. Oh, wow. Not a <laughs> single one, huh? Oh, oh but well, there it is. <laughs> no! That oh. was bad. That still might sell for 500, uh, so that's, that's okay. Uh, all right. This is Baroth. Baroth is weak to fire. We're going to try to take advantage of that. And it's also going to be starting off with speed, so we'll be fighting it right off the bat with technical. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get as many head-to-heads in here and win them, build up as much kinship, kinship as we can, because we want to use um, that kinship to knock him uh, out of his next AI cycle. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't know how, how to say that. Uh... But thank you for that follow. I have I, I couldn't even I can't even figure out how to say that. But I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Look one in. Uh, so he's gonna teen. do <laughs> yeah teen. He's gonna do a mud roll now. He's gonna get his mud mantle on. Uh, so now he resists fire. Or he doesn't resist fire. He's just no longer weak to fire. But we're still going to aim at his. Oh uh, yeah, it's still just the head. Uh, we're going to build up this, and what we want to do is actually get the drop um, not with our kinship attack, but with just normal attacks uh, from breaking the head. Dang, she really is going to ride now. I'm still going to line this up with it. This is still more damage than the crit I would get. All big damage right there. Should be a yep power clash. A little bit more damage. Really good luck with head-to-head -head RNG right now. No, he won't get the uh, the kinship off of that, but he will off of this uh, next attack, which is nice, even though they lose it. Oh, she wins it. Yes. Nice. She's smart. He's doing it. Uh, we will do this because this is going to be fire typed um, and doubled, and this is going to happen before the mud mantle, so it's going to be big damage. Nice. And it's almost dead, too. Yep. So we're just going to unga bunga through this. <clears throat> Hey, remember that egg that we had? Well, yeah, we have a Wrath of the... We had that egg hatch, by the way. <laughs> Forgot about that. Big story thing, by the way. Don't mind us. Yeah, that egg hatched. Uh, oh, wow. He doesn't have any. All right, I should have just done Bulldrum. Yeah, we don't really want to use him yet, because one, he doesn't have the attacks we want him to have, and two, um, he can't do kinship attacks. So we don't really want to use him. Oh, that's fine up with frost should be, should be it right here now. Um, 
Oh, nice. yeah, there you go. Cool. That crit really helped, and oh my gosh. Big time save, big time save. And, oh yeah, another 48 seconds. And I got a bunch of trade-in items off of that. Let's that go. feels good. That feels good. That kind of trades off for the fact that we didn't get any gold in here, too. Yeah, like literally none. <laughs> and the talisman that we got was even worthless. Um, but say lovey. Uh, what's next? Ooh, Toby Gadachi. Cool. This is uh after this fight, it's a, a weapon upgrade. And Toby Gadachi. Toby Gadachi. Hey, it's Toby Gadachi. Made shrimp Alfredo. I bought stuff to make chicken Alfredo. You you should make chicken Alfredo. I will. Good. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Uh, since I are usually already have Narkuga equipped there, and how those guys move around is really annoying, I just do... Oh, actually, yeah, I'm just going to stay with this. That's right, I, I remember now. I should kind of change this. So I used to do Boldrome right here, but I want to be on Narkuga anyways. And you can't use Stealth the moment it comes out, so having the Monsky out beforehand just means I can activate Stealth a little bit sooner. We grab that Catavan stand, and then now we have... Hey, look at that, more track gathering. This one's really easy, too. Uh, they're all easy. I love but how the game has a way a... of being like, hey, here's 100 points, but you need 100 more. Yeah. Nice. And then we're going to go this way again. Oh, you walk directly in front of me, you rude <laughs> little thing. And now we can switch to Bull Drum. So Toby Gadachi starts speed, so once we get into this fight, we are going to be switching um, to Yan Cuckoo. Uh, and then uh, we're going to be targeting its leg first, and after it uses its Electrify attack, uh, we'll start targeting its tail for a knockdown. Uh, so Yan. Oh, nice. Good job, Avenia. You lost. Hey, 69. Nice. Nice. Just want to make sure that we are winning these double attacks. It's higher damage, it's a faster animation, um, and it builds up kinship. And it's, it's just all good things. Look at that. I got it again. It would be better if he was already using a technical attack, right? Uh, but it's kind of like net zero for time-wise, having to switch uh, to a monster skill. Plus, we lose kinship overall like that. We don't gain as much, right? Because we have to use like 25 or 10 or however much it is to gain, you know, 35. Uh, we're going to ride here. It's now doing tech. And we can't stop this enrage cycle, so we're just gonna let it go through uh, every. Oh, actually, no, we can. We can break that leg. I'm a liar. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, cool. Thanks, Avinia. Uh, it is going to do. It's a uh, it's shock attack now to put it into power. So we're gonna switch to this now. Start attacking that leg because now we want to break that leg i believe breaking the leg will result in a topple which stops him from doing his uh kadachi windmill attack Let's see. yeah it's 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 got a lot of leg it did not and skip those, leg day yeah and those icy whirlwinds do not help all right, please. Nope, that's not helping. Oh. And that does oh. not help. Should get it right here anyways. Oh, nope, it's going to do it. Oh. Uh, all right, cool. Well, it didn't kill anyone, so that's fine. There's the break. Okay, and it didn't result in a, in a knockdown anyway, so it's, that's okay. 
Uh, instead, we are going to ride here. Get that heal. And then it's back to speed. And we're going to target that tail now. Yo, Talos! Nice, Athenia. Look at her go. He's doing it. And then now she also has kinship. So we'll line these up and break that tail. Nice big damage. Nice. Results in a knockdown. And then I want to switch this to Bulldrome. Because next when it enrages, it's to be using uh, attack. This is just free kinship that I can get on it. And if I get lucky, um, I don't get a head-to-head -head while Bulldrome is out. Um... So I don't have to worry about switching. Yep, see, just like that. And they, see, look, they're all idiots anyways. <laughs> Enrage? Nice. That is exactly what we wanted. You can see how much damage we're doing now, too. Just lining up things appropriately and doing the right thing. Big. Nice. Big. Let's go. Good. More gold stuff and another minute time save. <laughs> Love this game. All right. Uh, we are gonna forage a bow now. So our our buying uh, buying charm is still active too now, which is awesome. Yo, Mia, how are you? So we don't uh, actually lose out on any money here. That was a nice amount of money for that too. And then we want the Pulsar Bow. Just a quick buy and sell because it's going to save a little bit of money doing it there. And also it's going to help a little bit just with more with like higher damage. Got home from work? Nice. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to talk to you again. Just walk away. Uh, and then we, now we want to go to base again, and... Oh no, we wanted to go to... Whoops. Kowan. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I advanced my notes. I noticed that. Yeah, because we want to be close to the, uh... The, uh, entrance. Because we want to be at the windmills. Ah, uh, look at them. Just amazing. Ah, they're still there. Thank goodness. <laughs> Hope nothing Good. bad happens to those. I just want them to stay forever. All right, and then now, now we go to the base. I'm gonna go to Jagged Rock Cave. So we gotta go down to this one. Yes. And we're still looking for for the gold mining nodes. That never stops, really. Especially how light we are on cash. Um, so if we see them, we take them, and if we don't, we pass them. Um, gold stuff in general just has a higher chance of giving us a a uh, trade in reward. So like when we see them, we'll grab them. Uh, an icebound bone is not a trade in item, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, thanks, game. Thanks, game. Appreciate you. Uh, and then once again, we're gonna hotness. Oh, why can't I see that? There it is. And then we just gotta run all the way to the end of this. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Doink. Showdown small. Oh. Okay, actually, that's that's huge. So showdown's a six skill. It makes our head-to-head -head stronger. Getting a showdown small early in a run like this, because we don't get... Uh, well, this isn't like necessarily early, but we get a showdown medium later in the game. Um, and getting a showdown small early is just a free time save. Makes things a those. lot easier and a lot safer. Oh, yeah, we take those. Uh, we are not going to stop for that gold, that gold bone there, because of all the monsters. No! No! Holy shit! <laughs> you are lucky. Oh my gosh! I didn't think it would stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weird how you run into a wall and it just Don't stops worry you. about Man. it. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so anyways, here's Wonderwall. Here's Ice Wall. Oh, oh my. Uh. 
<laughs> There's a Jade Barrock behind me too, I'm afraid. <laughs> Alright, good. We're almost we're almost the monster. This next one kinda sucks. Uh <laughs> Kezi was Kezi was a hard fight. Uh doing this fight is uh, uh well is difficult. Because we need to break the head as fast as possible, and when uh, we can't really do that consistently the first time we interact with it. But I have a bit of a safer strategy now that actually uses Ratha, which is super nice. So we're gonna switch to him immediately, um, and we're gonna get uh, this head-to-head -head first. Uh, we do need to switch to the Pulsar Bow, mm -hmm. deal as much we damage as we be... need to. Yep, and we are gonna be fighting it with power since it is starting off with tech right now. We just want that. to get as much damage off on this as we can. You can also see that Ratha doesn't gain any more kinship than 50%. Um, so we can actually take advantage of that. Uh, actually, I don't even want to take advantage of that yet. I just keep doing this. I want to conserve HP because when it enrages, it does two roars and a thunder attack, which means no head-to-heads, which means I'm scared of it. Um, but Ratha does a lot of damage. And so now we can take advantage of this. Ow. And you can see uh -oh. that almost killed us. <laughs> um, but as long as we're full health, we will always survive all of these attacks. So we're going to let you do that again. And then I am going to use a life suit. Avenia is going to heal us, and then I'm going to heal us. That's just how this AI works. Oh, look at that. And as long as we stay up high enough, we should be fine. The next one is the Thunderfield, which is kind of like a 50-50 of surviving, so we'll see what happens. I hope I live. Mm -hmm. Tune in next time. But we're just trying to get as much damage in onto the head as we can to break it. Looks like we lost one heart here. That is A-OK. -okay. B-U-T. So what we can do now is switch to Boldrum, because we can actually break the head now. And Boldrum has a kinship attack. And we want to do that. Head's broken, no more roar. So now when it goes in rage to do power power and then thunder field, and then we can use our, uh, our kinship attack to stop the thunder field. So I'm actually going to conserve that Uh, it's going to do one more tech attack, but I'm going to start riding and building up this uh, kinship attack. So now we're going to use speed. Ah, uh, this is good. I'm going to have a level 3, and she's going to have full kinship. And that's going to stop the Thunderfield. Oh no, he used the wrong attack. Dang. If he used an attack that made contact, um, he would have had the kinship for it. Uh, and then, yeah, that means we're going to miss out on this. Ooh, that's kind of unfortunate. Appreciate that work, Mia. Uh, but we should be close to it dying. Yeah, that uh, that charm you picked up is actually doing a lot of damage now, so it's help helping you out a lot. Yeah. Just kind of worried about it going into this enrage cycle if I don't kill it before it. There it is. Oh, wait. Dang. <laughs> it looked like it was dead. It's close. I only get two head-to-heads here, so we got to make it worth it. Uh, yeah, with Frostfang, that works. Please. All right, good. There it is. Nice. Yeah, that was getting a little sketchy because um, we didn't have kinship.
right? So we can't stop that Thunderfield, and I was already down a heart, so we just had to play... We'd had to play, like, really, really smart there. But we're good. Mm. Onwards to Kuon. So we're going to do some quest management here. Uh, we're going to turn in some sub uh, subquests and also activate an Adamant Charm. Um, an Adamant Charm increases our defense, which is a very nifty thing to have. You can see how much money these things actually give us. And then there is that Adamant Charm. And we're just going to double check here. Right of channeling. Uh, nothing there. Basics of slang. We needed that. Dang it. And kinships. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, this is when I do it. All right. Good, good, good. Perfect. We are we are good. We're going to activate our Adamant Charm now. So it's going to increase our defense. Which we um, are going to Yeah. <laughs> which we are going to we are gonna very much need on this next fight. Um, th this next fight is one of my least favorites in the entire game. Uh, it's the reason why I lost seven minutes in the world record. And uh, just getting it right is, is really difficult. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this one goes well. Whoops. And base. Get past this family of baggy here. Just swerve right through, we're good. Um, but now we're going to go up to the top of Mount Lavinia, or Mount Lavina, um, and start doing the second half of the Lasca. Uh, so we have uh, the next fight that we're going to do is kind of marks the halfway point of the Lasca. Um, this this section is is kind of long, honestly. Uh, in comparison to the other areas, we spend a lot of time here in the Lasca. It's also gigantic, which makes it like one of my favorite areas. Say hi to Kazu. Hi Kazu. Bye Kazu. Say hi to the gold den. Hi, gold den. Bye, gold den. And say hi to the good boy. Hello, sleepy pubbers and ogre. Oh, look at him doing a uh, heckin' sleep. Love him. Hubby. That's another royal monster, by the way, so we're not going to mess with that. Oh, yeah, no, we're not going <laughs> to touch that with a 10-foot pole. We do not say hi to Kazu. <laughs> uh, we are going to grab this Cadavan stand here, because immediately after this fight, we are going to come back. Uh, oh, that was weird. And just gonna run right into here. All right, this is Glacial Peaks 1. It's the first first time in Glacial Peaks. Um, so we're going to be going... There's like two There's two diverging, or there's two divergent paths here. One that goes up and one that goes, like, down. We're going to go up first. A quick little detour here. You see how much we use healing items. Um, healing items help us get past phases that... We don't really have other options for, and that's two life powders right there, which is super important to the run. Oh, 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 camera. Very good. And now we're going to introduce you a way to travel in your local mountains. Mm hmm. You guys, Geysers. everyone, just go over to Yellowstone National Park and try this out the first chance you get. Just stand right on top of the geyser and get sent to the top of the mountain. <laughs> so these are the geysers. Uh, so you have to navigate. The peaks. Oh my gosh, you literally do just rocket into the ground there. Uh, and now we're gonna have to kind of kind of curve the the bullet here. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, you. Um, this is this a flash? Yeah, it's another flash. These are kind of safety. I only need two for the run, uh, but three is safe. Uh, but we, I think we end up picking up four, actually. So there's one that I, I got to figure out which one I want to cut out. It's probably going to be that one. Yeah, because I think the next one is actually on the way out. So probably be better for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because oh, there's this one. There's this one right here, which also might get cut out. Uh, Ultram. And now we just straight forward, just all the way. <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna get a catavan. Ooh, stand two. <laughs> uh, before we, before we get to the very end of this. <laughs> I gotta serpentine around this stuff first, and we're gonna go into this catavan den uh, down at the end of this path. 
And that's also going to get us another safety save there, too. Yep. <laughs> and more heals. Yep, we're going to get uh, two more life powders out of this. Very, very important item. Yeah, throughout the entirety of the run, I think we gather like 22 life powders in total. And we use almost all of them every single time. Um, I also haven't used my hot mist yet, and that's for a very good reason. In case we have to uh, reset on this fight, um, you lose whatever you used, right? Um, so I wait until after I save to then use those items. What's happening? What buttons am I pressing? This one. There we go. So we're going to switch to this, and then we're going to switch to that. Navigate our way around these guys really quick. It's a little bit safer. And then switch to Boldrome here. Because we want to be using Boldrome when we get into the Saltless Queen fight, and we can use it to get a little bit faster of a dash right here, too. So we're right. like big bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Celtus Queen um, is awful. If you thought fighting one monster was enough, now we have to fight two, and one of those monsters uh, gets double attacks eventually. Um, so it's very uh, difficult. Yeah, this, this fight's hard. Uh, but the first thing that we're going to be doing is uh, trying to build up a kinship. We're, we just need to get kinship as fast as possible. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. I think you're already attacking that one. Yeah, you are. So we can just do this, but it looks like I'm gonna get hit again anyway, so I might actually end up taking a heart here. Oh no, it's using formation. Oh, let's go. All right, perfect timing. All right, so we can ride now. It's gonna be doing two attacks, but one um, is a head-to-head -head attack, and then the other uh, is an attack from the Celtus, which is the acid attack. Then it does two of these things called Celtus Spear. Um, we are going to be using our kinship attack to cancel Celtus Spear because that attack is going to hurt us. We're going to put all that damage into the Celtus on the top because when we knock that uh, monster off, they lose this formation and then they stop doing this double Celtus Spear attack. Um, oh, hey, it's just going to do it again anyways. And it's making me a liar. Get off. <laughs> oh, away, you. Yeah, we were really close to that, so um, I could also kind of tell from the fact that uh, it didn't have the, the battle line anymore. Uh, but now it's doing d uh, two speed attacks, so we want to play this very, very carefully. Um, I unfortunately can't evade this, so we're just going to have to keep doing this, and hopefully we can tank one attack. When we're at full health, we can tank one attack. Um, so we just have to play really safe here and just hope that we don't get targeted for attacks. Looks like we did. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Now, when we get targeted for attacks, this is ideal because we get to use one of our skills, which means uh, we usually go first. Uh, the, uh, your, your hunter, your rider usually goes first in the turn order. We, we are very fast. So we get to go first. And now the next attack is going to be a head to head, which looks like it was a head to head with Yankuku or Avenia. Unfortunately, it was with Avenia. So she's going to take that hit. Once again, with us, uh, oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, come on, up. We're just taking advantage of this speed priority, and we're getting really lucky with it targeting us first. Now, as long as we win head-to-heads, we don't uh, lose a heart. We just go down to one uh, HP. The problem that I just saw there, though, is I just use Charge Breath. I'm going to have to evade this. Avenia is going to heal. Good. Charged uh, Breath is going to hit everyone, and as long as everyone else is at full, we shouldn't lose any hearts here. Never mind, Yankuku dies. Uh, uh, but that's okay, that's only one heart. And that follow-up man is so scary. Um, so it's going to be going back to its original tech attacks now, so we are going to switch back to Boldrome and try to build that kinship attack up again. That is the ideal AI, somehow. Um... But this next cycle is going to be really difficult in that it's going to enrage and there's going to be a Celtus out. It's 
So I'm probably going to stop explaining here a little bit and just start concentrating and paying attention to this. We're going to switch this to Torrent. And then aim at that leg. Yeah, so this fight you really have to pay attention to a lot of things that are going on, especially with the Exorceltus in, in there as well. Um, so that's why Big Blast kind of focus on this part of it. So close. Uh, and the goal here again is to try to get that Celtus off of uh, the Celtus Queen. Ooh, we got it. Nice. Nice. So that's going to stop the Celtus here from happening this turn, too, which is super important. And then now it is. Uh, back into those uh, speed attacks, which we are now going to use Focus Slash to get through. Ooh, unfortunate. All right, but she's good. They still got three hearts. We're actually in a really good spot. It's usually only about two enrage cycles, and I just now need to focus on building up uh, Kinship. I have enough health here. I'm actually just going to take this as a double attack. To, to build up kinship. That's a good part break. That was a crit on Avenia. This next one is going to be a single head to head and then the uh, charge attack. And it looks like we are going to have uh, kinship for it, which is perfect. Awesome. We're going to have double kinship. Yep, so that's charge breath. So this is where we, we want kinship by this point because a kinship attack cancels the uh, the charge breath attack. Uh, we can also just ride uh, and then, you know, lose all of our health that way uh, and avoid losing the heart. Yo, Sack, how you? Um, but everything, this, this is looking, this is looking good. Oh, it is piercing on the body. Oops. And it's dead anyway. Nice. Look at that. Huh. Wait. So. No sh shot. <laughs> all right. Well, we have a run. I guess I'm finishing this tonight. <laughs> Seven minute time save. Fuck. Ah, I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I was hoping this wouldn't happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, the speedrunner not want gold. Oh, I'm oh sorry. the speedrunner not a want a free world record. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I went to bed at two a.m. last night. I wanted to go to bed early. <laughs> and nope, <laughs> game was like nada. Yeah, context. Oh. I. Uh... I died to that in my world record run, which was the first sub six. And then I was like, okay, I would like to get this run back. And the fact that we were three minutes up and also like here is uh, kind of insane. Does speed want speedy weedy want to not want woo? That could boo boo beep boo. No, he doesn't. He wants to go the fuck to sleep. Uh. Um. So anyway. <laughs> oh, I should have just ran here. There's a cutscene right here. Yeah. So now we go down. Oh no, I'm nine minutes up. Please help me. Yeah, I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> it's a six hour speed run. <laughs> We're only two and a half in. <laughs> I'm too stupid to do the math, but you do it. <laughs> That's why we have green around. He does all Fuck. the numbers. That's uh, okay. Ooh, I went the wrong way. I don't know. Growing. <laughs> Already. All right, so next we are uh, talking to son of a old friend. Uh, this is old Dee Dee. It's from the first game. Um, and he's going to have us do some stuff because he's going to help us with Ratha. Because Ratha's, Ratha's being an angsty teen. 
Uh, and we we aren't we aren't about that. We're not dealing with it, so you know. Yeah, we don't we don't want to deal with that stuff. Uh, but first, there's an angry rabbit that we have to deal with, so we're gonna do that first. <sighs> Man. You also have to unlock the cat kind of event here. Yeah, yeah, I will after this fight. Oh, that's up here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Yep, so Shiyang Cuckoo, it starts off speed, and we want all these head-to-head -head attacks because we're going to go absolutely insane. Oh, I also want to target its leg. Pick a leg. Oh. Sweep the leg. Uh, Unstoppable is not a good move for it to use because it will always do it on its own because it's a multi-hit. It's a, a multi-target attack. Think of it like Earthquake or Surf, right? It hits everything on the field. Um, so we actually can't win. We can't get head-to-heads. Um... We can't get double attacks uh, when it uses that. Ooh, I'm going to be very close. Uh, so hopefully I can get lucky when it enrages. Oh, nope, we didn't even we, we need that. Perfect, we're going to have it. Yeah, because I think it does five speed attacks first. But we just we literally just ungabunga our way through this. This fight is very straightforward. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, don't change from speed, please. Good, you guys are smart. They're learning. But this this fight's really straightforward. It has no difficult gimmicks or anything. We just want to make sure that we are um, just, you know, optimally making decisions. There's really not much to say about this one. <laughs> no. Restroom needs. It's okay, we'll probably throw somewhere else. <laughs> this game's hard. I mean, just make it to Flight Person and then we'll go from there. Nah, Yami Burge is next. No, we're losing time. How are you still alive? There you go. There it is. That honestly is probably a time loss from uh, movement. Didn't you? Yeah, you ran into... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not 22 seconds, but like uh, the rest of my movement is yeah. kind of sloppy. Yeah. All right, so now that we have fought that Lagombi, we're going to go ahead and get this Catavan stand right here and go and investigate a new uh, a new pit. Bold. No. Eh. Oh, well. We can always sell it. Trade, or sell it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we got more, we got more, uh, more, more geysers. Oh, also, I have a guaranteed time save here because I don't save before this fight anymore. Ooh. Uh, it's this Probably one. should fix it on the notes. I mean, it's still relevant to save there, like, huh. for, for, like, new. Because, like, new, I new. pretty much, the, the, the general rule was saving before any of the Rage Raid fights. Hmm. And we'll switch to Pookie. We got a chest up here. It's got some mega potions in it. More heals, baby. Uh, yeah, Lucy, it's a very good one. I got my seven-minute time save back, 
so we have a run. Tragically. No. Uh, I do one time need... Soon. I don't. I do need to do... Whoops, that is open, so I can't... I need to do that first. Okay, there's only one life powder in there. I don't need to go in there for that. Uh, I think so, Lucy. This game's a blast. All right, so this is the first Legiana fight. Very straightforward. Switching to Yan Cuckoo right off the bat, and we're going to be targeting its head. And we just want to push it through a cycle as fast as possible. So just double checking, making sure we're getting these double attacks. We don't want to be losing any any stupid health. Enrage, it switches to power. Uh, the multiplayer in this game sucks. <laughs> multiplayer is woefully unbalanced and bad. Uh, and we're going to wait for it to fly so we can uh, use our kinship attack on its wings. Just going to fly here, frozen tail sweep. Nice. Lined that up with a Venia. Ooh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Almost got knocked off by that, but it's fine. Nice. Look at that damage. And this is going to put it back into speed. And then this is Air Showdown. Uh, this one always happens here because we're using Yan Cuckoo and they're both flying monsties. So it's going to use Air Showdown. And Air Showdown kind of sucks because look how long this takes. I'm considering switching this to a monstie that can't fly. Uh, so I get the, the fast head-to-heads in either the beam or the power clash. But, you know, we do what we have to. Icy Roar is going to make all of its attacks stronger, and then it's going to enrage immediately after that, but I think it's going to use its, uh, I think it's, the fight's going to end immediately after that. Uh, no, but it didn't, uh, it didn't enrage, so we're good. <clears throat> I am not going to use this kinship, because I want this fight to end, and that'll skip a turn. Yeah, and we want this to happen. All right, so that's Legiana 1. Uh, also, that happens here. We're skipping a really long cutscene here, but what else happens is um, Ratha goes through a phase and starts breaking everyone's things. Remember those really nice windmills? Oh. Not the windmills. <laughs> Not the windmill. Uh, so, yeah, now, we're gonna, now we have to go back and uh, exact our revenge uh, on that uh, Witch Peaks. Oh, no, I wanted Hot Springs. Damn it. Johnny, I'm throwing. There we go. Yeah, so I now we're going to go back one. and tell old Dee Dee that our, our dog was bad or something. Um, and he is uh, he's going to help. Somehow. He unlocks his potential by hitting him in the head with a stick. You know, how <clears throat> most anime goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we get to use kinship attacks with Ratha. So Ratha is now a legitimate member of the team and is no longer uh, just a waste of space. Because we could not switch him out. Yeah, yeah, he, you can't, like, get rid of him on your team. You just have to use him. I'm really curious how much of this time save that we've experienced early in the game was from the uh, showdown deco. Because you don't even get one. You don't even get one in uh, Flight Percent, like normally. You don't get a showdown. It doesn't happen until after Flight. Uh, I'm not going to grab that.
Oh my god, he's coming. He's gonna turn back around oh. into him. We don't we don't want to get back attacked, and that thing is really fast. If I would have switched monsters, I would have gotten uh, back attacked by it, and it would have damaged me, and I just don't want that right now. So we just turn around, have the encounter, and then keep running. Happens. Uh, we're facing the wrong way, though. Oh my gosh, this movement's so scuffed. <laughs> Darn you, sharp corners. Yeah. Uh, all right, but the Legiana fight is really straightforward. We're actually going to switch to Nargakuga first because it's going to enrage in the first turn. Um, and we're going to start building up our kinship attack with Nargakuga that way so we can knock it out of the air as fast as possible. Because <clears throat> all it does in this first turn is just uses Icy Roar and Enrages. And that's it. We get a little bit of kinship just from hitting him a couple of times. That's unfortunate. So we'll have to switch to Ranmar. And now we're going to use Ranmar for this. <laughs> uh, he does about 20 less damage. But um, the next cycle we'll use Nargakuga. Or we'll uh, actually we'll just get this kinship ready and then we'll switch back to Nargakuga. As long as I just have one kinship, uh, that'll be fine. This is Frozen Tail Sweep, which now does a lot of damage. It'll actually probably one shot Ranmar. Yeah, I did. Which is expected. Uh, and then now while it's flying, it's using tech. Doesn't matter. And then now we're going to switch uh, to Yon Cuckoo. Because when it stands up, it'll be speed. Still worked out. Um, taking one heart on this is not too much of a problem. Um... I'm, I'm honestly not worried about it. Plus, you're going to get more kinship out of it anyways. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if I can just win some head-to-heads, I can get that kinship in, like, a turn. Which would be really nice. Look at that. Easy. Oh, very close. Bruh, just so, cool. so close. Uh, but it's okay. We'll get it this turn. Frozen Tail Sweep, it's no longer the effects, uh, it's no longer under the effects of Icy Roar, so this doesn't really do that much damage. And then we just immediately ride. We don't need to wait. We ride. Oh, look at that. They're gonna catch Even up more now. We switch to Narcuga. Five nine four, big number, big number. But yeah, see, like this, this fight's super straightforward. Even it being a uh, rage raid monster, it's very straightforward. As long as you just have that kinship attack to break the wings, very straightforward. Hey, look at that. Yeah, practically full again. Gonna ride here because this is going to be a freezing tail sweep. Uh, and it never used icy roar, so this isn't gonna do a lot of damage. Nice, Avenia almost died. Good job, Avenia. <laughs> and Dark Thrash, one of the cooler kinship attacks in the game that we aren't gonna watch. Nice. Oh, nice. That was a very good fight. Get your time save back too. 
Uh, yep, another 34 seconds. We'll take that. All right. So we have redeemed ourselves in the eyes of Kuan Village by uh, proving that we can, in fact, control Ratha. However, we have pissed off other people called the Scrivener's Guild in the fact that we have this monster who has these dilapidated wings, which is very similar to a, a legend that says the end of the world is going to happen. So now we have to prove ourselves yet again to another group of people that are acting really shady and also kidnapped our dog. So we're going to go get it back. Yay. So this is the Lucian. Uh, this is one of my favorite town themes. Uh, but first things first, we're going to accept that quest from the best girl herself. And we are going to complete a uh, subquest here. And I'm surprised we can't finish anything else here. Uh, but she, all she wants to do is just see a pookie pookie. So we accommodate. And then now we can turn in quests. Just a little more money. Uh, we're more worried about the money than we are the experience. We're going to come over here and activate a buying charm again. And then we're going to do some shopping. Another really big shopping buying section here. Start by selling all of our trade-in items, and we have none. Uh, so we want to go to weapons. Because I don't think I quite have enough. Uh, but we'll see. So first things first, we want the Kezu Greatsword. Uh, great sword. There we go. Kazu shock sword. Then we're going to get the Celtus hammer, which we missed. So we have to do our backup, which is bag of horrors. Unfortunate, because I really like the Celtus hammer. Uh, and then we want the glacial arrow. Good. We had enough money for all that. Arigato. To come over here and then buy another item called the Sonic Bomb. I will talk about more more about those later when we come when we are about to use them, and then we're gonna fast travel back to the entrance of Lucian. But then leave. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> faster. It's actually faster to do that than to walk to it. It's so funny to me. All right, cool. So. Throughout this entire game, you always have a buddy with you. Uh, now our buddy is a hunter uh, named Roberto. And hunters work a little bit differently because they don't have a monster partner. So we can actually get double attacks with them instead. They also always let their kinship uh, attack charge up to level 3. So they do an insane amount of damage. It's, it's wild. Um, it's also better for us because it's one less target for the monster to target. Uh, so it's a lot more consistent for us to get head-to-heads. Oh, I completely aimed the wrong way. I couldn't... I cannot remember why we're looking at mushrooms. All I know is that Roberto likes mushrooms. That's it. That's, that's the tweet. We're making mushroom soup. We're not even doing that. Yeah. He just likes to eat them. He just he just like throws them on a fire and just puts them inside of him. He's a he's a hunter, so you know it's just everything's on a barbecue spit. Uh, fair. Uh, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna get a little bit more money. There's also more chances for gold nodes, so we're just always keeping an eye out for that. Hey, look at that! A gold oh, node. Hey. Big money. This is actually a money. really convenient spot because we have to stop anyways. Gold spar. And then easy 5,000 zenny, because we are not done upgrading still. All right, this is Plesiop. Plesiop is great. It's a very easy fight. Immediately switch to the Glacial Arrow and cry that this guy is... Oh, okay, good, we can. Um, we're going to aim for the back first. This fight's really straightforward, too, um, and Roberto will do most of the carrying here, which is pretty cool. It's also really hard on this fight to see the battle lines. Um, so sometimes it'll trip me up because I don't see a battle line. 
uh, and then I get a head to head anyways. <laughs> That's just because <laughs> the angle was it was hiding behind me in the angle. But you can also see that we are getting every single head to head, which is which is beautiful. This is exactly what we want, and we're gonna carry this all the way until Roberto can do a um, kinship attack with us, which will be very soon, because uh, he's gonna get targeted with this Aqua Jet that is very inconsequential to him. He does not care. Then he's at max, and we're gonna do this. 1,142 damage. Double level three kinship attack with the hunter is so nice. Push to the tail now. Is it? Oh. No. Uh, we need to change you. Enraged again, we just do it again. <laughs> Very straightforward fight. Oh no! Aww. Anyways. <laughs> also gave us an, an insane amount of kinship, so we can just do this. Jesus. Hey, look at that, he's almost dead. Uh, yeah, he's gonna do it, uh, the Aqua Jet again anyways. Um, but we might be able to kill him before it actually happens. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Eight second time loss. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, the other nice thing about that being an easy fight is that we didn't lose any like health because we ended that with a kinship attack, and we didn't lose any hearts because we don't go back to the town where we would replenish all of that stuff. We haven't really been talking about that, but every time we go back to town, we just full heal. Um, this is one of the very few instances where we have two fights before we go back to town. Um, and this one's very straightforward, just like uh, the last, but this one's straightforward for a different reason. Um, because now monsters in the desert, they like to dig underground, um, or as I like to call it, swim in sand, like that. Uh, and because they do that, we take advantage of them in combat when they do go underground by throwing that sonic bomb. Um, that tool forces them out of the ground and puts them into a pseudo trap state. Um, they don't take additional damage, uh, they just don't move for a turn and it stops them from doing the big bad do all of your health uh attack that they like to do when they when they go underground uh get past these guys here good um then we run up into this it's a small cutscene no no sense into uh you know trying to activate a charge to then just stop immediately just walk into it And <laughs> this is the uh, this is actually <laughs> the hardest line in the game to get because you get always hung up on that corner right there and I didn't get it and then can we make this oh. turn nope oh you can damn. get to right here and then you stop turn to the left um, I could feel that I was a little off uh, but that's a okay still a really good one because we didn't run into that daimyo yeah Oh, All monster. right, where's that oh, man. monster? This can be easy. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> He's attacking us from behind. Anyways. Oh, good. He hit Roberto. Here's the drum. <laughs> uh, so we want to switch this to tech. It is a speed monster, and we are going to once again use the glacial arrow on its back until that is broken. It is also weak to ice, so this is always a nice and new because boom, big number. Uh, the other thing, too, is that during double attacks, um, the damage type is taken from your weapon, not the other things, uh, with the exception of Ratha. Uh, depending on the attack, uh, Ratha will, um, like, it'll apply fire damage. So here's that Sonic Bomb. Wow! Forces him right out of the ground. Don't have to deal with any of his nonsense. Uh, and it gives us a turn of him just flailing about on the ground, which we can just take advantage of just like this. 
Whoo, big number. Jesus. And we're going to go ahead and ride now. Still doing speed. We're going to still aim at that back. Enrage is now tech. And we do still want to line this up with Roberto. Um, it looks like we're going to be able to since he's going to win this one. Nice. And then we just stop him right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and even more damage now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually after the first enrage cycle, um, which is like around turn ten, uh, it'll it will do that. Uh, I believe he just is just going to round dive again here. Which I really don't care about. And he's enraged right now, but it really doesn't matter because we're just going to do this again. <laughs> and he's no longer enraged, so we have to go back to technical attack. And just rinse and repeat. As long as we are paying attention to what damages we have to do and what the monster is doing, we are A-OK. -okay. Later fights, it gets a lot more technical. Want Roberto to get his level 3, which he's going to get after this, and then we will drop it. Because this just kind of guarantees that the fight ends now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. And some traded items there. Dude, six second time save. Let's go. Pog. All righty then. So now we're going to head back to Lucian. I'm going to go talk to Lilia in the Scrivener's Guild. She's also someone from the first game. One of my favorite characters. Such a glow up. I was so happy to see her return in this game. Some other people, not so much, like Navidu, but we really mm -hmm. don't talk about Navidu. Oh, glow up. Go off, queen. And we're going to go right back to the Sedona Barrens, where we, where we were. Cut out all of that traveling all the way back out. And we're just going to run right out here. And then now we have our uh, first real rider fight. Um, <clears throat> this can be difficult, uh, cause it requires some creative decision making sometimes. Um, but for the most part, we're just gonna be using Pookie Pookie and trying to damage everything all at once. Uh, cause he has attacks that will hurt everyone. And, uh, we just, we want to use those as much as possible. We're also going to take this time to do, uh, charge attacks. Cause we're going to build up, um, the wide sweep on our greatsword as well to do the exact same thing. All right, so now that we have some kinship too, we can start doing these tail spins. And we want to target this guy right here. And then now I don't have enough, so we can just target the Nargakuga. We're going to be bullying this technical team, which is the Nargakuga and the hunter that's with them. First heart down. We need to get all three hearts on one of the teams gone. I need to be. I just need to pay attention to our health and who's targeting what. Uh, that's fine. Do not like that. So what we're gonna do is just do this again, and then we are gonna life suit. <laughs> Ideally, we get a KO on one of the riders here, and we didn't. That's unfortunate. Pookie Pookie's getting a little... Uh, uh, oh, that, that'll help. That'll help. Knock out the oh, Young Garuga, nice. please. Uh, I don't think it did, but if it knocked out the Young Garuga, then it doesn't attack. Yes! Good, it doesn't oh, hit Pookie. Oh, let's go. That's awesome. Doesn't matter, we oh. won. Wow, <laughs> that is the fastest first fight I have ever had. All right, we're going to do the same thing for this next fight, but now it's only two of them, which makes this a lot easier. Uh, but we really have to pay attention to that Tigrex still. Um, he can be a butt. Um... And we're just going to start off with this.
The nice thing is, is that the uh, rider, the opponent rider will always target the monster. Um, so especially with Pookie Pookie, we can get damage off on both of them. Um, and then Roberto and I just bully the monster because that's the only thing that we can target. Uh, charge cut. Rock Shooter. I really don't care who that hits. That actually worked out really well. Uh, they are going to ride this turn, so I'm actually not going to do that, and instead I'm just going to heal myself. So when they're riding, their kinship attack is going to go off first anyways. Uh, wow, I survived with two health. Mm -hmm. Tail spin anyways, nice. So we just need one more. We're going to have kinship here. I guess I can. But That's actually, nice what I would rather do is this, because I think it's more damage. Because the kinship doesn't one-shot them, unfortunately. But I think this will get them both low enough. Didn't. Dang. Alright, so we just do it again. Nice. Nice. That was really fast. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that was average. That was four-second time save. That was really fast. <laughs> Four seconds. All right, cool. Speedy. So now we've kind of learned some, like, sus information about these guys. Um, they are... Uh, actually, I, I, I wonder if that full heals me. It does. Pog. Um, they are... They've kidnapped our Ratha, and then they kidnap Enna, the Wyvarian girl that's been, that's been helping us out. And so now we have to do something about this because we think it's part of the Scrivener's Guild and Virgil's like, listen, it's not, it's not us. This is something else. Uh, so now we have to save uh, Enna and Ratha by uh, going to Lemur Tower. That's where they're at. And so on our way there, we're gonna be doing a bunch of gathering, bunch of gathering, um, and a bunch of fights, a bunch of fights. So I get those three life powders right there. Super helpful um, items to have. And we're going to duck into this Everden really quick. Uh, to get uh, a lot of bottle caps. Uh, it's 14 bottle caps in here. And we, we explore, or excuse me, it's not 14. It's uh, 12 and then um, two vital essence. Look. Yep. And this is going to help us with the end of the game, um, getting one of the stronger weapons for the end of it. <clears throat> so we don't have to worry about um, RNG for all of our weapons. We can, just, we can always get one of the ones that we want uh, at the end of the game. Especially at the end uh, at Altura, it is hit or miss. Once again, we want to get behind the rock. And then we switch back to Bulldrome. Uh, and before, this is actually a funny thing. Before, I used to fast travel uh, out of here uh, back to the Desert Catavan. And then I realized how like close this exit actually was. And this ended up saving like uh, 30 seconds. So <laughs> big, big time save just because I actually paid attention to something for once. Weird. There we go. So we got another Catavan that we're going to grab right up here. Um, that stand we're not going to use until the end of the game, since we are taking this to Altura. <laughs> World record. Yay. Yay. <sighs> the pee. <laughs> I'm hungry, and I need to pee. I need to go to bed. I'm sleepy. 
It's okay, we can lose it at plenty of other, other places. But not here, this fight's easy. This is Diablos. Diablos is a very straightforward fight. It doesn't do anything, uh, really. We just kind of do the exact same thing that we did on Cephadrome here. Uh, and we switch to Narga. Yep, just making sure that I'm setting myself up right. And then we're going to aim at the leg. Rip Brimstone. Too many words for him. Uh, it's going to give us our kinship, but we're actually going to hold that uh, until it enrages. We don't want to use this yet. Because we're going to use this to stop its heavyweight attack in, in its uh, enrage. What I do want to try, though, is just getting to that um, level 1 kinship gauge, using it, and then trying to build up kinship again, since it's so easy to uh, to build up kinship in this fight. Uh, so now it's using speed, so we're going to use tech, and we are looking out for heavyweight. Once it uses heavyweight, we know we have to use our kinship attack. Excuse me, uh, when it uses focus power. That's what we're looking out for. Which I believe is after this attack. And it's going to line up perfectly with Roberto, too. Yep, there's focus power. And we're going to stop that heavyweight. Look at that. And then, rinse and repeat. It's not very smart, guys. Mm hmm? Kind of a himbo. I need to switch to Whoa. that. <laughs> Literal bag of horrors. Mm -hmm. Nightmare fuel the weapon. Yeah, most of the Kezu are uh, weapons have like some sort of feature of the Kezu on them, so the hammer has the face. Uh, the literal head. Yeah. The uh, great sword that Vigo uses earlier also had teeth. It's just not good looking at all. Horrifying. Alright, so you got that tail cut. I'm about to get the head break. And there's the ground dive again. And what do we say to the monsters that try to go under? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure that we are still keeping up our double attacks here. There's our enrage. Now we ride. Now we are switching to tech. And it will be dead soon. Yeah, I need to get a little more greedy with that one. Just use the kinship attack at the level one, and then just go from there. And I think it would be fine. Uh, all right, cool. So that's our last fight uh, before the tower, and the tower is a uh, another rider fight, and it's a very difficult one. But I have a very safe strategy for it now. Uh, but it's Ruby Viserios, and that fight has an attack that will always take two hearts from me unless I do it the right way. And uh, we're going to try to do it that right way by having a kinship attack prepped when that attack happens as well. So we can tank it with the kinship attack, not get poisoned uh, and burned by it, and then follow up with our kinship attack to get a knockout instead. Uh, we're also grabbing some safety items here called heart churros. Um, I am down a heart, so I will be using one. I'm going to use it just right now. Oh, oops, that's combined. 
Uh, we want to have full hearts going into this fight. It's just safe. Um, and then after this fight, too, we won't have the opportunity to heal. Uh, so those heart churros are going to help us do that as well. And then this fight does suck, unfortunately. So we are going to safety save. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I was about to okay. say. <laughs> I was going to be really upset. That's called the wall, Bagel. No, it's uh, that's the cutscene cut trigger. It's a cutscene oh, okay. trigger. Trust me, trust me. Uh, I'm a speedrunner. I make zero mistakes all the time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be using... Uh, we're going to be using... Bulldrome through this entire uh, fight. Uh, and there's no weapon matchups for this Viserio, so we're just going to stick with the Greatsword. Um, and all that we need to do is attack this thing. Uh, that's it. We need to be, we need to build up kinship, so we want Bulldrome to win as many head-to-heads as possible. We want to get lucky and have him uh, use not lethal attack. Uh, we want him to use a power attack naturally. Uh, but we got really lucky and that lethal attack actually landed. <laughs> Uh, but we're just trying to get to a... Uh, oh, that's really unfortunate. He got double targeted. That's super unfortunate. I can't really do too much about that. So he's probably going to lose a... I'm probably going to lose a heart here. Uh, yeah, that's dang. super unfortunate. But I have my kinship attack now. We don't use it yet. Um, just double checking that there's no line coming off of you. Nope. Okay, so you're going to use a life powder. That was a really early uh, KO on that, too, which is great. That that crit really helped. Uh, so there's their ride. So all we're going to do is just use this to tank it. Um, and this is pretty safe for us. Uh, because we can't get poisoned from this now. Uh, and then what we do... Uh, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> uh, this uh. is most likely going to target me. So we're just going to target the... Rider there, and I'm hoping that it doesn't target Boldrome. Getting very unlucky mm. here, so I might have to use a little uh, Vital Essence. Uh, Alright, we got lucky with that. And that looks like it's still targeting me, but I'm actually just going to play this safe here. I'm going to Vital Essence. Yes, it's Rock Shield. That's good. That's good. Not ideal. We can get through this fight usually without having to do that, but... Uh, you need to be targeting him. And Roberto needs to heal himself. Actually, he doesn't really matter. He has his own hearts. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is actually going really well. Hit. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's no go. <laughs> that yeah, is that was an RNG time save. That is a 44 second just RNG time save right there. You cannot. That is wild. All right. Sick. Very, cool. very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I just I do want to just do this just for safety. Oops, and we also need to turn around because there is a vital essence that we can go pick it up too, uh, for safety. Yeah, especially since you just used one in the in the last fight. Yeah. These become very relevant at the end of the game, and so we want to make sure that we grab as many as we can. <clears throat> I'm also, also not too worried about healing right now because these next couple of fights are very easy. Yeah. Uh, and we're actually coming up to flight percent too. This is the last area of flight percent. We only have two more fights before the end of a flight. Oh, then we have oh, then we have like all the hard fights in the game. Oh my gosh. I think mean, this game is so tedious, man. Why does he do it? I don't know. Because like I like this <laughs> game, but also I'm scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that meme. It's like I'm not afraid of many things, but that thing right there. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> All right, thirteen hundred zenny. Yep, absolutely need money at this point. Switching to Pookie. and we got kind of a hairpin right here, so we're just gonna take them all the way up.
Uh, want him to not immediately run at us. Good. Nice. A lot of this area, too, can be really hard uh, with avoiding certain monsters uh, because you have to break line of sight on a lot of them to get them to stop chasing you. And that's just sometimes really hard to do. Also, if you ever wonder how a young cuckoo knocks on a door, that's how they do it. Yeah. That's not for who the young cuckoos. It cuckoos for thee. <laughs> uh, so this section is just a bunch of uh, going up from one area to the next, to the next, to the next. It's, uh, it's tedious. What is that even? Oh, it's a crab. <laughs> Oh no! Us and our fat pig! We fell through the ground! No! It's scripted. <laughs> it's meant to happen. Uh, then we oh no, break. now we have to go back up. Again. Yeah, we're just like on the other side. Oh, 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 oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. Sounds like he's <laughs> still chasing you. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. He can't get you if you don't look. <laughs> if I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. Oh god, crab. Yeah, I actually hate this room. Alright, Minoblos. Da, 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 da. This fight's really Minobulos. easy. Uh, this fight's very, very easy. Uh, we're going to switch to Yon Cuckoo. And we're going to hope Roberto is using the right attack. He is. Alright, cool. We're going to switch to this. Still hope that Roberto is using the right attack. He is. Pog. And we're going to aim at the leg. Because once he uses a kinship attack, he'll full heal. Um, so I'm not really worried about healing him. And now I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we got plenty of time to build up kinship on this fight, so I'm not really too worried about like losing a turn to that. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to hold that until it enrages. I think it's gonna, yep, it's gonna Whoa, die. ground dive! Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Here's a sonic bomb. Sure that he's using the right attack, and he is. And rage. Now we're gonna ride, and it's using power, so we switch to speed. Man, he is going for broke with these with these skills. And this oh, is also nice. why I just like too. hunters more. They they are just so much more intelligent. Unlike our next buddy. Unlike our next buddy. Oh, look at damage. It's a big number. Oh, nice. Oh, arcing <laughs> dragon. Okay, sick. <laughs> All right, and then we just repeat. Already at kinship. Sick. Like, part of me wants to ride it and find out, but the other part of me is like, I don't want to test this right now. Because the enrage is after the ground dive, and we've only got like a couple more turns until it. Or, oh, it, it's gonna happen right here. And then now tail. The really nice thing too about this fight is that it's weak to ice and all of its zones are weak to piercing. So we just use this bow the entire time and it, it does work. Whack. 
Uh, one more and then enrage. Look at that, it's almost dead anyways. Yeah. Oh no! It's okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, he switched because we rode. Head. Yeah. Probably just die right here. Oh well. There you go. Yep. Okay. Now it's dead. Sick. All right, next is Black Diablos, also a very easy fight, and the last fight of uh, Flight Percent. Because uh, next is, yeah, it's the spirally room. Oh my gosh, stop eating my inputs, game. <laughs> They're magically delicious. It was you eating them this whole time. They're magically delicious. <laughs> this room's cool just because it's like a big curve. Uh, and you can get like a really good angle on this and just cut all the way around. And we're just hoping for this Tigrex to spawn on the far left side so we can get past it nice and easy. Uh, no P is right in the middle, so they go on the outside of him. Because then nice. he's going to run that way, immediately stop and turn around. And so we need to kite him to the inside of that, that uh, geometry there so he doesn't run all the way into us. We're gonna do the same thing with this Ash Catcher Watcher right here. A lot of this, uh, a lot of this area is just kiting monsters so they can't run into you, because it's very easy for them to do so. And now we get big money. Yeah, now we get big money. Narga just works a little bit better here since we have to use another field skill. And we want to switch back to it now, so by the time we get this chest, we can use stealth. 15,000 zenny, feels good, man. We walk back out this way. Uh, and yeah, this next room, we actually just stay on Nargakuga, because uh, it's just easier. Riding through here is very difficult, because there's a bunch of hairpin turns, uh, and you just can't quite get them. So we just stay on Narga. So we get right here, and that Diablos is looking away from us, which is good. We can grab this, which is a max potion. Then turn around and go into the next room. This room, if we can get a good line on it, would be really cool, because it's cool seeing this room done right. But there's like a crab that spawns like right in front of this sometimes. Easy nice. peasy. Look at that. Do you like lines? You like curves? Alright, cool. Next is Black Diablos. Last monster of flight percent, but not quite time on flight percent. Uh, this is a power monster, so we're going to switch to Nargakuga, and we're going to do the exact same thing again. Switch to Narga. We're going to use Slashing on the leg. Just do the exact same thing. Hold our kinship attack for the, um, the Enrage Cycle. Uh, focus power does nothing. Check. Yep, there is a line there. Just want to make sure we get that. Because then he does ground dive. And as long as we get a double attack too, we take none of that extra damage from the uh, from the focus power. That's one of the reasons why we want to keep making sure that we take advantage of that. Just so we can conserve resources in case anything goes wrong. Most things shouldn't go wrong. But, you know, Murphy's Law and all. 
This game is sometimes really mean. I've spent a lot of time in it trying to understand it, and sometimes it just does things that I was not prepared for. <sighs> Big killer tail. 69, nice. 69, nice. <laughs> So this will give us our kinship, and then it'll enrage, I think, after this one or the next attack. Should be close to an enrage. There it is. So we ride. We're going to get two speed attacks and then heavyweight. So we're going to want to um, win the head-to-heads against the speed attacks, and then uh, cancel the heavyweight attack with our kinship. There's the first. There's the second. level two. Oh, no. Oh yeah, you got level two. Nice. I got level three, yeah. And then we just cancel that. And uh yeah, this doesn't matter. Because he's gonna use Dragon Tremor. We were uh unfortunately we didn't get like the good AI where we get both of those lined up. Um this is focus power. Check here. All right, yeah, no line. This is dive. Oh man, that part break was right there. Yeah, we'll we'll get it. We'll get it here really, really soon. About time you healed me. <laughs> uh, horn is. Hammer. And then rage. And the same thing again. Good, he's gonna win that. Oh, he got level three too. Nice. Yep. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's switch to Ranmar. Gonna make sure we continue winning these head to heads. <clears throat> we are getting close. Focus power. I really like that about the Kazu Hammer too, is that every now and then you hear it roar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then time comes up at the end of the quest gun break, correct? No. Oh. See the tiny <laughs> scream. <laughs> uh, yeah, time ends when we walk into the next cutscene when the load icon appears. Oh god, that made a noise. Yeah. <laughs> those those are noises I did not want to hear from that thing. Please die. Thank you. There it is. Said ass nicely. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, time's coming up here uh, shortly. And time. For flight percent. Um, that's a new world record for flight percent. Pog. Yeah, so that feels good. That feels good. <laughs> uh, and then now we continue because, <laughs> well, we are gaming out of our mind. Uh, this is Monster Research Lab. Uh, because we're up ten and a half minutes, we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep going. So this is the reason why we got monsters uh, Monster Research Base still, even though we don't fast travel back to it anymore. Um, we can just fast travel to it here and then just fly over this. 
to get to the Pit of Remembrance. And this next section is also a really hard fight, uh, but I've gotten really good at it. It is the uh, Crimson Kuropeko fight, which is another two monster, two monster fight. Um, but we are going to do a safety save here because th this fight can be mean sometimes. Uh, but I haven't lost to it in a while, so we should be okay. He says about to lose to it. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to keep going because we got the ten and a half minute time save and we might as well take this to the end. It's only, what, 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> Two more hours of a speed run? We got this. No problem. I'll finish. I'll finish by 1 a.m. No problem. I am already so tired. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, but this is the Pit of Remembrance. Um, there's a feline village up here that we're going to come and visit. Uh, and oh. Oh, it's a giant hole now. It's tragically a giant mm. hole. There is no more. Um, oh, yeah, and Rathic can fly now. That's it. That's that's the tweet. That, that's the game. Rathic right. can fly. So we're going to switch to Ratha and to this hammer, and we're going to start beating the crap out of this bird. Oh, God, we want this bird to be dead so bad. Uh, but we're going to be targeting the bird for everything. As long as we have full health, we can target the bird pretty comfortably for everything. For these first couple of attacks, it is um, doing double attacks, which we're just going to kind of ignore unless it targets us, in which case we are going to do that. Uh, but once we get the head break too, it's going to knock down. This is good. Because now we have our kinship ride right before um, it enrages, which means one, we can ride here and heal up a bunch, and two, we can stop it from using a uh, rune, rune song, which reduces our everything. Ow. All right, now we're just hoping that, okay, we didn't target him, but that's okay. Instead, we're just going to take advantage of this and get some kinship, and then we're going to target the uh, the idiot over here. Um, he is still using tech attacks, I believe. Or did he enrage? I actually don't remember. Because that's fatigue song. Yeah, he should be using speed attack. No, because he's, no, he's not doing, like, the big... No, he's not enraged, so yeah. he's just tech. Yeah, we're good. Interesting. Uh, that thing's using speed. So we're just going to ride here again. Continue to pelt this thing. Because we want that bird dead so fast. We need to just target it down. We're going to ignore the crab entirely. Because he's got a couple attacks where he just does absolutely nothing. And if we just ignore the crab and focus on the bird, uh, which everyone spam burge, if we just focus the bird... Uh, then we can take the one, like, we can take one heart, uh, to the crab and, and be fine still. Um, I'm gonna, uh, it's using speed now. So we're just gonna do this just to get. And that's focus power, and it's going to use a water shot next, which I do not care about. Enraged again. Ride. Heal everyone up. And we can take this heart uh, from this idiot from the bubble breath. That's okay. Uh, it did enrage, so it's using uh, speed, so we are going to switch to Yankuku. And we're just going to ignore the crab now because it's doing scissor guard. Do not care, do not care, do not care, do not care. Be dead. No, it's not dead. All right, rather keep targeting that thing. Uh, that's actually fine. Be dead. 
How are you still alive, you dumb idiot bird? Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, it's actually going to use, uh, it's gonna use, yeah, hard body and then enrage. So this actually worked out really well. This fight's going actually swimmingly. One, two, uh, it's then going to use focus power and then we cancel the attack with the kinship and just don't take the bubble attack. And then now it is going to use Scissor Guard, which we're both gonna take a hit from this and that's fine. Oh wow, that did absolutely nothing to me. Hmm. Um, but what we're gonna do instead now is we're gonna pet Ratha, build up some kinship. Cause he takes a lot of damage from this for some reason. I don't even know why, but I take like actually none. I guess it's proportional probably. Um, to the damage dealt, who knows. Uh, but now we are more or less in uh, the safety zone of this. I just have to like pay attention to the fight and what's happening. Um, we just want to have a kinship, um, a kinship attack ready, a kinship ride ready by the time it enrages, which is really easy to do against this fight since it, you're the only target. Uh, so we can just like ride now, even. Petting the dog, yeah, I, and that's that's kind of why I like doing that too, because you get to pet the dog at least once a run. Here he. Uh, and then now he is speed. See how much easier this game is when there's only you to target. I literally haven't thought about what I had to do. So long. Another part broken. Um, and then we are going to attack that. Do not care. Oh no! Oh my god, it's absolutely nothing. nothing. This is so, so much weird. more to him. I don't get it. <laughs> Pet the dog. Whack. And we just keep going. Is it water weakness? No clue. Couldn't tell you. Wrath is weak to thunder. Couldn't tell you. Well, the crab's almost dead. Yeah. Yeah, we just had to go through one more of these cycles and we'll be good. Hard body. Speed attack. And we're just going to kinship now, because even if it attacks, it will not kill us. Nice. Or you could just die. <laughs> yep, that was really good. 38 second time save, baby. Let's go. All right. So, Navidu's been here before, so he kind of knows these guys, right? Felines, no felines. Um... And so we've met a, a a feline named Orgo, who was like, yeah, man, our town used to be here, and now it's not. So we're going to help them out. So we're going to the feline settlement next, and oh, goodness gracious, Pamor Garden. Love this place. Yo, is that the Ellie alive in chat right now? My oh, goodness. Yelly. All right, now we can fly. That's why it's called Flight Percent. Uh, we get to fly now, and flying is awesome because we get to just go from one place to the other and just fly around barriers and stuff like that. It's great. Literally cut flight, through everything. Flight is the fastest mode of speed uh, of movement. It is two times that of ground speed. It is very, very good, very, very fast. We go very, very far. Um, so we're going to be flying everywhere. Uh, this is the feline settlement. Uh, we'll be coming back here a couple times. This section's really quick. It's only uh, three fights, two fights, not even. Um, so this section's really, really quick. Uh, and I don't know, it's just really pretty to look at. Even the next section's not very long. Like this is we're we're like in the home stretch of the game. It's only like an hour and a half left. Uh, so we're gonna trees. come right here. Oh yeah, the trees are pretty here. Oh, I meant to land there, but Navidu had a text box open. How dare you? 
Because we want that Catavan stand, and now we're just going to fast travel there all the time. How do? Do good. We are up 11 minutes. So I decided to keep going. <laughs> because reasons. Oh my gosh. Guys, don't... Don't text and drive. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I was like... Whee. Yeah, this area can be kind of weird because you can't get around that corner with Bulldrome's dash, so I usually just run past it, but then that purple Gypseros was looking directly at us. Oh, oh. And then this section, yeah, this section you, you can't get past. You have to stop at least once. Oh, and we stopped twice. Let's go. Yeah, Steve's in this game. Steve. All right, ready to go bother this bubble fox because it exists or something. Uh, but we are just going to switch to Ratha, and then we're going to start bullying this idiot. <clears throat> oh, whoops, I wanted to aim for the leg. Yeah, so Ratha's good. As you can tell. Because we're just doing so much damage right now. And uh, we burn. actually don't want to ride because it's it's more or less just locked to turns. Because we want him to get to here, uh, to the Bewitching Bubble. Because when he does this is when the fight actually ends. I am sick. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Uh, oh man, and here we thought we were going to get away with the rest of the game without a buddy, but nope, Kyle's here to ruin that expectation for us. Thanks, Everyone's... Kyle. Everyone say hi to Kyle. He sucks. Hi, Kyle. Yep. And, and now he's going to take credit for that thing running away. Yeah. Hmm. They're starting to have some like the handler over here. I know, right? All hunters are the same. Just want all of our credit. Uh, but that's that. We're going to go back to the feline shelter now. Uh, and next is Lagai Cruz. Or Laggy Krusty. La Krusty. Don't. Don't say uh, that. <laughs> Fast traveling back to Pomore Garden. And now we are headed to... Uh, I mean, literally, like, right behind us. I just need to switch to that. We're like literally going to the left right here. <laughs> <laughs> this, like I said, this area is very short. Um, yeah, and I have a new strategy for Mitsuzune too that actually works. So, looking forward to that when we get there. Uh, but first, this is starting out power, so we're gonna switch right over to uh, Nargakuga, and then we're gonna switch this to Hammer and start hitting the tail because hey, its tail is weak to Hammer. Yeah, Don't ask. Fault. Don't ask questions. But we are going to sever its tail with a hammer. Yeah, that, that tracks. Mm-hmm. Really good head-to-head -head RNG right now. Oh, you still uh, have the... Uh, hmm? call it? You still have that charm, too, so it's still helping that one. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, no, I attribute a lot of what's happening to that charm right now. Because it's in the next area that we would get the showdown uh, large. Uh, and that's kind of expected this run. We're going to wait for Kyle. Uh, we're actually going to wait for it to enter its next state, which is Electrify. Um, Kyle got it a turn too soon. Tragic. But it's okay. We're just going to wait. Because it's going to use Electrify now, and uh, that's going to make its back hit zone appear, and when we break the back, he falls over. Uh, we want to switch to Ratha and hit the back. Nice. 
And then now we are going to switch. Uh, actually, no, we're not, because I'm going to use Spitting Meteor on the tail. Ooh, this rapid shot's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 994, oh. easiest clap of my entire life. And then we're going to switch this back to Narikuga. So probably give me a head-to-head -head here. Uh, or a, oh, no, it didn't. All right, cool. Sick. Uh, I didn't get a, um, a power clash. Uh, and then I'm going to switch this to Kazu Shock Sword now. No. Why are you so stupid? Narga! All right, well, we're using Ranmar now. That's really unfortunate. So I would like to get this lined up. I should have enough kinship here. No, I just got nothing out of that. Uh, but he's going to do that. Speed, so I need uh, tech and Edeon. It's free turn. Ooh, there we go. That's good. It's going to give us, like, 50% kinship. Nice. And then... Nice. Just need to win a couple of these, and then we can ride. And we can knock it down. Gotta wait for it to enter Electrify. That's Electrify. We're gonna wait for Kyle since he's almost there. We should have it now. Yep, perfect. And hit the back. 1,585. And then we switch back to Nargakuga. Because you've been naughty, Nargakuga, so I need to give you some kinship. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Isn't that a good thing? Yes. <laughs> See, now I can actually I get a double attack here. I don't think that's how punishment works, but you know. Hop off, King. That's how I punish Bo. He just gets all of my love and attention for like an hour. Because he hates it. Oh, well, it. there it is. My goodness, he's just the precious little bean rolled up on the ground right now. No. Oh. he was in this tree. No, he's not. He's on his bed on the ground. When it's cold in the house, he's in the bed. All right, so this fight, this fight is getting close to finished. Um, or so just to kind of continue, like, status quo. You know, I'm actually just going to drop it here. Now we're losing time. Please die. Please die. How are you still alive? alive? Dead? All right, oh, finally. we died to poison. Cool. I lost a minute on that. Oh. I blame Kyle. Man, that engagement was shocking. Anyways. <laughs>
Next is Misazune, <laughs> which is a hard fight. And I have a strategy, but I don't... Like, I, I have a strategy for it. It's kind of difficult. Um, and I'm hoping it works out. Uh, but we'll talk about it when I get there. Because it is kind of complex. Um... But now that we have access to Ratha, Ratha can like tank hits really well. He does a lot of damage. Um, and what we're trying to do is build up enough damage and enough kinship um, during Mizuzune's Enrage Cycle to interrupt its last attack, which is called uh, Blue Moon. Um, we need to have enough kinship for a kinship attack to stop its last attack and its enraged style to stop uh, Blue Moon. If we don't stop Blue Moon, things get a little more complicated, i.e. we die. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah, it's kind of bad for our health. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and for our time. Because if I lose to this Mitsuzune, I'm, I'm, I'm not finishing this run. <laughs> <laughs> it would still have PB potential, folks. but not the PB potential that I want. But so this is, whoops, this is kind of like the determining factor of if we have a run here or not. It'll be this and then Nergi Gante. All right, more life powders. Nice, nice. And a safety save. And then onwards, forward unto dawn. Had to be Take careful a of a uh, thanks. Uh, Got to be careful about uh, this stupid green thing right here. Wait, green sweet's on here. Oh, that thing. <laughs> yeah, it saw me. And getting around this with um. Bull drum is kind of hard. Actually, I'm just gonna switch to Ratha. Cause that's the monster we want out to start with. Uh, all right, and we're gonna be trying to abuse the leg here as much as we can. Um, with power attacks, we would prefer to have head-to-heads. But now we all know how that goes. But it's always going to do a power attack and then two bewitching bubbles, and then it's going to enrage. Um, Kyle and Ratha can tank those pretty well. I can kind of. But we're just going to kind of use this to build up some kinship. And then uh, we're going to switch into Yan Cuckoo now. And so now we need good head-to-head -head AI here, which looks like we, we, we got a good start. Um, and then I'm going to start healing everything. Uh, because everyone needs to survive. This is why we have 15 life powders for this fight right now. Because now it's doing double attacks, so that's one. Uh, this is two. Once again, I just have to heal. I want it to target me, so I can use, so I can separate the the attacks and get two head to heads. Uh, that was two, so this is now three. Uh, that's good. So then, what we're gonna do here is skills, tackle, attack with that leg, and then now if it targets uh, Cuckoo, we get a separate one. Nice. Neither of us die. And then we ride here and we cancel this with a kinship ride. Unfortunately, hmm. that he missed. Oh, he does have that accuracy down, huh? Yep. And so then now that that's done, we just, go, we just go right back to Ratha. And uh, we try to deal as much damage as we possibly can to this idiot. Oh, 
<laughs> you missed two. Uh, this is fine. Let's go skip one of the be uh, bewitching bubbles. Seventy-seven. I think he lives the second one, but I'm just gonna heal it anyways. Nice crit. And then we just do it over again. Now we're gonna switch back to Yan Cuckoo. Good, it's targeting the right monsty. Switch back to Yan. And we do it again. And this time, light powder again. If it's targeting uh, the monsty or Kyle, we heal or dodge. If it's targeting me, we can separate them. Because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna act too fast. I'm always gonna be a little bit faster than than them. Uh, this is good. Uh, I'll let it do unstoppable. So I just don't want to waste the kinship. Uh, so that was two. This is three. And we're going to have Kinship after this. Perfect. And now we can ride and cancel the Blue Moon. Free damage. Not Kinship, unfortunately, but that's okay. This fight's been going really well so far. Just keeping up that strategy. Going for the chest now. Jeez. I love it when he does pierce when it's laying on the ground. Oh my gosh. What a turn for Kyle. Big turn for Kyle. So it's only one bewitching bubble now, since Kyle was able to skip that one. And then again. And this is pretty safe. Man, he targeted him again. Let's freaking go. It is not usually that easy. But that yeah, is already... really good. I thought you almost dead too. Mm -hmm. That's one. Targeting me. Uh, I need to switch this to this. This is two. Alright, good. It's gonna hit Cuckoo. That's awesome. This is turn three. Okay, the unfortunate part here is that I'm not going to have enough kinship. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, probably just, Actually, no, we can just take two hearts on this, honestly. Um, Risk it for the biscuit. Well, because it's going to knock me out no matter what. Oh, wow. Just all of that missing. Die? Doesn't matter. Let's go. That's so funny. Sick. That. Sick, 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 sick. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So that's it for Pomore Garden. Up next is Turga. Turga Volcano Trail is a cool area. Wow, that went really, really well. That Mizu fight does not always go that good. If I didn't miss those couple of hits, we would have saved some time there. Mm-hmm.
but that's just kind of the the name of the game with uh it unfortunately uh, put more garden and we are going this way all right turga volcano trail uh this area is cool and by cool, I mean the opposite of it, because uh, it's hot. Uh, so we're gonna switch to Boldrome, and then uh, we have now Cool Mist, uh, which we only need those three Cool Mist to do this entire area, which is kind of sick. Um, we'll never have to go and get extras. Those are, there are like extras readily available, which is kind of cool. So it's a nice little backup if you aren't as comfortable doing it in like one shot. Uh, but this whole area is, we go around grabbing uh, mushrooms to blow up gigantic rocks. Uh, and then we have one fight in here with Urgan, which I have found, once again, a way to make it very, very comfortable. Um, just learning its pool, AI, and everything, and, uh, mapping everything out, and then just coming up with a really good strategy against it. Uh, it does lose us. We always lose one heart when we do it. Uh, I'm gonna switch to... Okay. Uh, and then we can go back to this. We need two here. Ooh. No, juked, <laughs> juked, juked, absolutely juked, calculated. I, I want to use uh, Narga in here and I usually forget to. But like even even after this, like there's such a there's just such a good line for uh oh, oh yeah actually we're gonna do this for for Boldrome, but we uh grab that one right there. God, these bugs are so close. Uh, but once we get around this corner, it's pretty pretty safe for Boldrome. Everyone say hello to Tigrix. Hi, Tigrix. Hi. Oh, so good in this game. Um, and then no more safety save in here. I skip this one now too. The turn all the way to the left or left to the right. Oh, yeah, what are directions? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna fight an Urgan. So we're gonna start with uh, Nargakuga. Um, Urgan does a really unique thing with his tail where he will put down um, powder stones. He's then gonna try to explode. We don't like that. Um, so instead, uh, we are gonna use everything in our power to stop it. Since I don't have the Celtus Hammer, I've actually never done this strategy without it. Uh, so we'll see if it still works because uh, with Celtus Hammer, we're hitting it for weakness. Uh, I think we'll be fine here though. Uh, but we wanna break its tail um, as fast as we can. So we're just going to be targeting it. And then now that this rock bomb is down, I'm going to target that. Uh, which, good, you're doing the right thing. So I'm going to win this head-to-head. -head. It's going to want to put down another one. That amount of damage right there was just enough um, that I can do this. And it should break. Nope, it didn't. Is that enough? All right, good. Perfect. Now, the unfortunate thing uh, here is that no matter what we do, uh, we are taking a heart to this. Um, it's just unavoidable, unfortunately. No matter who this uh, hits, uh, we will just take a heart. It's okay, because it's the only heart that we're going to lose. Because then now we're going to ride. And we are going to hit the tail. We're trying to break that tail off. When he enrages, though, the first thing that he does is a spinning tail bomb, so I'm actually just going to heal real, uh, real quick to make sure that we don't get knocked off of this. Perfectly safe. Let's go. And then now he is using uh, tech, so we're going to use power, and we're just going to keep aiming at that tail. He only does two of these. Uh, he's going to do one more, and then uh, we're going to use our kinship attack on the head. Already back to power. And we need to go ahead and get another uh, kinship attack 
ready. And since we broke that tail, no more uh, no more rock bombs, no more detonates. That's unfortunate. So we're going to have to switch to uh, Ratha. Uh, yeah, I didn't have 15. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just going to go just tap it. Ratha can survive this. And that's all we needed. The faster I can get to a ride here, too, the faster I can get rid of that detonate proc. Uh, but it's okay. We just need to make it through this fight. That gave me the ride. Perfect. Because then now I can use that ride to cancel this because he only does two power attacks here. And then we can switch back to Narukuga. Can't see his head. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he dropped out of mid-range. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're good. Rage, we ride, that only did. Yeah, that won't that won't knock us off. Oh, it did knock us off. Hey, remember when I said it wouldn't knock us off? Well, I guess because it crit. Like the only reason why. Yeah. Oh, but that's okay. We don't lose a heart for that. We can just switch to Ratha and continue doing this. It's almost dead anyways. Yep, it should die soon. Lose a little bit of time on this, but that's okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Not even worried. Yeah, only 10 seconds. That's fine. All right, cool. The next couple of fights are really easy, so we get to, like, actually relax a little bit. Um, but we still got a little bit of movement to get out of uh, Turga and get to Nuate. Uh, and to get our next partner, because that happens again. Uh, stop right here and switch to Nargakuga. Oh no! I dropped right on top of him! Tragic. Man, that is okay. unfortunate. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, it has never happened before, but that was really funny. So we just need one bomb right here to get through this, and then we can switch back to... Boldrum. Uh, we're going to be grabbing our showdown large charm next. It's that blue chest right up there. Gotta get around these fellas. Look at that movement. Nice. And then. Wait, how could you turn in midair? Don't worry about it. Don't ask <laughs> questions you're not prepared for answers. Where's uh, the science in that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dude, planes can turn in, in the air. Don't worry about it. Uh, Not that sharp. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to, to paraphrase the cutscene, oh god, um, tentacles popped out of the ground. Uh, someone from the last game came and saved us. Hi, it's Shovel. He's now our buddy. Um, and he wants to help us figure out why the tentacles are coming out of the ground. But before we go and, and do that, we're gonna... Uh, oh my gosh. I hate that dialogue box so much. Uh, we're gonna go and go into an Everdone really quick. So that Everdone has 21 bottle caps in it, and that's just enough to get us the uh, next weapon that we're going to buy. Poge. Poge, indeed. Uh, we use Nargakuga in here um, for two reasons. One, these little Shakalaka guys love just sprinting at you. Uh, and two, this is just all turns. It's kind of hard to navigate through here. Not impossible, just really difficult to navigate through here with uh, Boldrome. Plus, we want to be riding Nargakuga when we get into the den anyways. Okay, good. I thought he was coming for me. Uh, whoops, I went the wrong way. And Target Volcano Base. But yep, there's our 21 bottle caps. Uh, we're then going to make a quick little detour up in the air, because we can do that now, to grab uh, 10,000 Zenny. 
And that's going to be pretty much all the money that we need. Um, we do have some trade-in items and some uh, equipment that we can sell. In case we need any more money. Uh, but now we are in the Wyvarian village of Nuate. Uh, and this place is really cool. And uh, we do a lot of really cool movement all through here. Nuate. Yeah, I, I love the... I, I've changed this, like, so much. This section. Uh, just, like, the creativity and movement uh, is, is, like, one of my favorite things in this game. Uh, especially in Nuate. So we're going to come over here and talk to Mei Ling Sink. Get a new weapon. Equip it. And we're going to go to the Turgo Volcano base. That's it. That's all we needed right now. Oh. Oh, whoops. Let me do the fun thing, the right thing. You want to uh, ride your monsties. You want to mount up on your monsties with them running. Because uh, then you still get to like move forward. There it really doesn't matter because we're going perpendicular to the place that we need to go. Uh, but especially with Ratha, you want to be moving when you fly. Uh, because that will uh, send you fur uh, further forward. Alright, using our cool mist and we're headed to Volcanic Gates. Uh, this is going to be uh, our Astalos fight, and this movement sucks. <laughs> I am really bad at it. So I'm going to try and pay attention to that. Uh, but just like navigating through these places, like I said, they all look the same. And these next three areas, are they all look identical. It's awful. I hate it. Great game, though. <laughs> Freaking shakalaka, man. Just bum-rushed me. He was standing there waiting. Waiting for me. Oh yeah, no, it is a fantastic game. I just get, I get lost in here. Sense of direction, don't know where. Well, you just, they all look the same. So figuring out which way you're supposed to go is like really hard. Uh, sounds like Worth you're trying to kid. make up excuses, but you know. I am. <laughs> I mean, but look at it. Okay, so when you see the next area, you will 100% get what I'm saying. Oh, look at that. Not even worried. Ah, uh, that line sucks. All, like, the lines, <laughs> all, all, all the lines in Terga are terrible. Um, it's like, even this next one is really hard. Try to make sure that we lose line of sight on them. And we are golden. Not even worried. All right. This is Astalos. Astalos is a really easy fight. Um, we're mostly going to be using the SNS, and we are going to switch this to Ratha. It's a tech fight. Going to focus the tail first, and we just want to be winning head to heads. So we're going to build up a kinship attack for when it goes into Bolt. While it's in Bolt, we need to break the uh, the wings to knock it out of Bolt. Yo, Sparta, how you doing? Uh, it's going to activate Bolt, but we're going to get a Scorching Slice first. That's going to give us enough space to get our Kinship. We will go ahead and ride. And then we are going to break the wing next. We get lucky. Perfect. Me and Rathi can take this and break the wing. And that results in a knockdown. Nice. 
then we just go right back to the tail. Beat Shrieking Legiana, uh, thank you guys for the tips. Yeah, of course, Sparta. Congrats, nice. That is not an easy fight. Unfortunately, with this fight too, uh, we can't really line up our kinship attacks with um, with shovels too much, only because of the uh, the fact that we have to use ours every time it flies. Uh, but we do want to be trying to get our kinship uh, built up as fast as possible, uh, and it getting uh, shovel getting the scorching slice then is kind of unfortunate because we only get two turns of. Uh, like two turns to build it up. So now we kind of gotta get gotta get lucky in this next one. Um, if I don't get good targeting, then I'm gonna have to switch my monster out, and we're not. Gonna, oh nope! Or I can get an air show down, and I'd not have to worry about that at all. Sick. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I was due for one of those. So. Nope, that's really good. Because that'll fill my kinship gauge, and then I can just ride and then kinship attack the wings again. I do want to make sure that I get enough part breaks on this monster, too, because I want to build his hammer. Uh, oh my gosh, you brilliant, genius baby. <laughs> Ratha, I love you. Just get that aggro. But he got it, and then he used the right attack. Oh my goodness. I love him. Oh, he loves you too. Free tail. Uh, I guess we're going to attack this stomach next because I don't want to switch off of this weapon. That'll be fine. Please target, target us. Bird. Yeah, the fact that they can have like multiple at a time is awesome. Should be close to dead. Are we drooling yet? We're getting yeah, he, there. He was drooling a uh, turn ago. Yeah. Okay. So he'll probably die off of this uh, this double attack, honestly. Oh well. Oh, this is going to be really funny. Mm -hmm. Just going to target the chest, get the chest break. And that'll kill it. Let's go. Nice. Nice. That's a good time save, too. Gaming. Look at that. Nice. 36 second time save. And only got one uh, traded item off of that, which is really good. He's a precious boy. Too bad. All right, back to Nuate. Um, we aren't going to craft anything quite yet. Uh, we're just going to come in here and talk to Yumlana first. Uh, Yumlana being the uh, the village chief here. Because next is Brachidios, and we still really don't need to do any upgrades to fight that Brachidios yet. Um, fight is very, very straightforward. We're going to do all of our crafting all at once, which is really nice. Fast travel back to the front of the village because we got to go to our house now. And I mean, you saw how long those stairs took. We're not going back them up them again. No, we're not going to do that. We should come this way. The meaningful dialogue, and we're back. Menu hunter for sure. <laughs> Whoa, got it. Whoa. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> you had no right to make that. What the heck? <laughs> Not even worried. All right, so we're going to switch back to Boldrome here and we're going to use our last cool mist. So big, well, Yari's so cool as it is. Mm, watch yourself, DJ Johnny. Mm. That's, That's even Mr. your real name. Wait, 
kind of is, but okay. <laughs> See, look, doesn't it look identical to the last place that we were? It's because it is. It's the exact same room. We just have to go a different direction. Love it. <laughs> this is a Zenogre room, which can be kind of sketchy sometimes. All right, good. And we're fine. Listen, getting past that is not easy sometimes. Yeah, but you're the Jow Bagel. Whoa, don't tell people. Oh, my bad. Oh, is he going to make it? Oh, pfft, you got lucky with that tail turn. So that's that's actually positioning. That's an AI manip. Did that on purpose. I was oh, positioning myself wow. in a way that he would turn. Okay. <laughs> but I was positioning myself in a, in a way so he would turn, uh, turn specifically that way. No, I, I was pretty impressed with it, but still, I have to give you a little bit of crap for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. whoa. <laughs> keep turning here. Keep turning here. Let's see if we can get past Agnactor without switching to Puke. We should be fine. What's a tail? <laughs> well, apparently nothing. Those don't have hitboxes. And then can we... Oh, look at that. He is absolutely gaming out of his freaking mind. All right, cool. So we want to target the head here first since it's uh, slashing damage uh, is, is better on it. And we are using, you know, our big boy slash boy. Uh, and we need to switch to Nargakuga first. Um, and then when it uh, enrages, it's going to charge its hands. And we're going to break the hands to get a uh, knockdown. Yeah, Yami, I'm doing the whole run. I'm up ten and a half minutes. Yeah, he's not, he's not quitting. He's not stopping. We gotta do it. Bagel. Yami! It's, it's almost, almost midnight. Yeah, I only have an hour left. He'll be in bed before last time, which was 2 a.m. No, I'll probably still go to bed at like 2 a.m. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to help you out here. This. Um, so I just want to make sure I have a kinship attack by the time it enrages, because uh, when it enrages, it uses a uh, uh, tech seal attack, and we want to stop that tech seal. Just like uh, just like Narcilla, it doesn't want us using tech attacks. Um, so when it enrages here, we are just going to use our kinship attack to break the head, and then now it's going to use slime charge. And then we are going to switch to Yankuku to start attacking those hands. God, the noise off of that. I guy. hated it. Oh, I could have, I could have stayed. Oh well. Yeah, that's on me. I didn't just switch to that yet. And honestly, I probably could have stayed in it to break the hands. But the hands break really easily. To uh... oh, that's the head. All right, so we might actually screw this up a little bit. All right, we got lucky. Hit the hands. Damn it. Oh, that's unstoppable. Don't want that. Still unstoppable. And that's the one that we want. Because we need to break these hands, and we've only got, like, three turns to do it. Oh, uh, you might get in the next one. Uh, that's actually really good for me. Because he's going to stop that Great Smasher. I'm going to get my ride. Then I don't have to stop that Great uh, Smasher. Okay, so he, so we just don't get the knockdown from it. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Tactical. Oh, wait. He still that's has his hands. I need to break those. Uh, now he doesn't have his hands. All right, cool. Who needs those? Got him. The hands just give him the extra blast blight, which can be kind of sketchy. Would very much like a double attack. Look at those crits, baby. Uh, the tail. Could have done the body first. 
I'm gonna switch back to the body. Wrathy lives, good. More damage, nice. And then we have our Input. to stop this tech seal. This is perfect. Does he still use uh, slime charge? I guess we'll find out. Uh, he is enraged, so he is still using speed. But he didn't use slime charge, so I have no way of knocking him out of this. Uh, so we're just going to do skills. So I have to add lib a little bit here because uh, I lost, like some sequencing on it, but we should be fine. Stop that great smasher. Switch back to Nargakuga. I'm not worried about the tight matchup anymore, considering that this one is just going to do a lot more than the uh, the bow, anyways. Keep forgetting that that was like a decision that I that I changed a while back. Since I changed how I do my my routing and menuing here. Nice. There is nice. Oh my gosh. So because really I changed how. Oh. Uh, oh, it's 25 seconds. Okay. Still, uh, it's just, this is just really good. I can't remember. I think my last run, I did do the new um, upgrading movement, which is this right here. Because uh, I still have a... I still have that buying charm going. And so we can do sell, trade in, yes, and then forge weapons. And first thing that we are going to do is the, oh, actually, can I make the Brikidios armor? I can. First thing we're going to do is that. And then weapons, and this is going to be the Astalos hammer. Nice. And the Mizuzune bow. Blessed Reigns. Nice. Sick. Look at that. So this is all of the equipment that we need to finish the game, but we're going to go for one more upgrade after the Nergigante fight. Um, the Brachidius armor is huge because that means that we survive uh, Glavinous attacks when we go to fight it. Uh, it's, it's, it's huge. It's just such a safety thing. Um... It doesn't really do much for us DPS wise, but safety wise, it is insane how how comfy this this uh, armor is. Um, but after Nergigante, we want to get its bow to replace the uh, Bust Rain Mitsuzune bow. But if we don't get that, that's okay. We have Eternal Strife as a backup. All right, back to uh, Turgo Volcano Base, and we are now going to the Crystal Depths. Can we please? <laughs> and the nice thing about the Crystal Depths is that we do not need a hot drink, because the only reason we are taking the hot drink is because we want it uh, during the fight. But we don't need that during the fight here. Because it's not in a hot area.
switching to Pookie Pookie here. Makes us a little bit comfier to get around. And then crossing this for some Mega Potions. And then switching back to Pookie Pookie. Because there's a gigantic Desert Celtus standing in our way right here. Oh, fun. And that's just how we get past it, is with Pookie. Taking this turn wide, I found out, actually puts us past the Emerald Kongawala that's standing on this corner. Ooh, we got the bad den spawn. Which makes cutting that corner a little bit harder. And there's the Agnactor that's right here that we're just going to squeeze right past, no problems. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We just hope this Gravius doesn't bum rush us, because if it does, then we have to, like, stop. But we're good. In the name of love? Mm-hmm. <laughs> stop! <laughs> In the name of oh God. <laughs> yep. This is why we that. love Pookie Pookie. I kind of keep an eye on them too while I'm charging up the sprint with Bouldrome. Because if they start moving towards me, I don't think I'm going to be able to, to take off fast enough. I can switch. Uh, all right, Nergigante. Uh... So I have like a safe way to do this, but even that safe way is not even safe. So we're just gonna try and do our best. Just gonna hope that everything goes well here. Uh, Cause if we, if we lose this, then we kind of lose this run. But if we beat this, then Big we are in the home stretch. It's, it's, it, it won't be a time save, it's just uh, I won't lose an astronomical amount of time that will make me not want to finish this run. Huh. Fuck. Let, let's do that. Yeah, because if I if I lose any fight right now, I lose six to eight minutes. Um, depending on how, you know, far in I get. But I'll lose mm -hmm. six to eight minutes, and I'd rather just, you know, not do that. Um, and, and get, like, a really good PB that feels good. And we are definitely on that pace right now. All right, first things first, we are switching to Ratha. We are sticking with Eternal Strife, and we are going to lay into this idiot as much as we possibly can. We want to build up a kinship on Ratha so we can tank the last hit, um, and then use that kinship attack uh, during its, its unenraged. And so far, so far, it's doing exactly what I thought it would do, which is not target us at all. Um, and just target Rathi probably three times in a row and make me cry, because now it's going to make this next phase a lot harder. Because the next phase, it starts using uh, double attacks and building up kinship while also trying to save yourself from double attacks is very difficult. Um, it's using speed. I'm going to try and take advantage of that. All right, good. He got kinship, so that, that gives me one more turn to build up kinship. Um, never mind. Who's that hit? I lived with seven health. Let's go. That's not going to be enough. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky. Because Ratha lives, and I live now. That should give me kinship. Just as long as this doesn't KO anyone, we're good. All right, perfect. And so then now I can ride through this, and I'll tank that attack. So I'm just going to ride here and heal up Shovel. Um, because even Shovel can throw... Oh, he's going to Gourmet and stake himself. Oh my gosh, you brilliant boy. Brilliant, brilliant boy. He's being smart. So now everyone will live. No problems. And then we are going to go back through this cycle. Um, you can't actually stop him from doing Calamity Slash, uh, slash here. 
So uh, instead, we just kind of tank that hit uh, with the kinship. Shovel does a really good job keeping us up. Um, and I'm going to save my kinship attack for when he has spikes. Now is the phase that we need to break spikes. He gets sp uh, white spikes on all three of his body parts after three power attacks. Um, that makes him do, or excuse me, after three technical attacks. That makes him do power attacks, um, and he does two of them. So now he's going to grow spikes, and we want to break those spikes. So first up, we can hit those legs. Sky high dive, and they're already, already almost broken. Now we're going to switch um, to Nargakuga. That's a really good target for us. And we're just going to kind of pay attention. If we're at full health, we can take double attacks. And if we're at half health, we either have to dodge, um, we either have to evade, uh, or we have to heal. And so we're just going to be paying attention to that and trying to split up our attacks so we can play this as safe as possible. But we've gotten one of our three part breaks so far for this enraged cycle, and we have to do this twice. Uh, that's good. Kuga needs to do this. Um, and then I can do this. Uh, if it targets me, I can do, uh, I can separate my attacks, but if it doesn't, then I need to, like, heal or something. Didn't target Kuga, targeted Shovel, unfortunate, because Rathi was using a speed attack. Okay, Enrage, it's now using speed, so I need to switch off of this to Yan Kuku, and it is targeting me again, so as long as Yan, which should now use a technical attack, is doing that, I can do this and be perfectly safe. some good luck here. But we're getting really lucky with it targeting me right now. Because that really helps uh, with dealing damage to these things quickly. Alright, so now we just have the wings. We're going to get a free turn here um, from Shovel. And we just need to pay attention to what he's doing. Oh, nice. Perfect. Go. All right, so that's the first one. Now we do it again. Getting really lucky with these head to heads right now. This is really good. If I can get one more head to head here, that would be amazing. Oh, so oh. close. Uh, but we should be able to get enough kinship here. Shevel might die to this. Very good. Oh. Well. And then now I just need to pay attention to the next turn because oh my gosh, he is an absolute. He is an absolute gamer. Uh, since I'm not being targeted though, and everyone else is still kind of low. No, nah, I want to go for it. I'm just going to do it with him. Uh, we're going to target the head. Because I have enough health. It's just no one else really did. Shovel's going to take a heart here. That's unfortunate. He was already low, so it's fine. Uh, oh, we can get a double off on this. That's actually sick. And then he's going to have increased kinship gain. That's enraged, so we're now doing speed. And did anything go into black spikes? No. So we need to aim at something that has full spikes right now, uh, which can be the legs, because the wings are really easy to break. Nice. And that's a tap away. Um, we need Cuckoo. And it's targeting me, but I have zero kinship, so we just take this double attack uh, and break that leg. And then just hope it doesn't target Cuckoo and get a crit. All right, we're good. 
we are drooling. That is a great sign. Unfortunate, Shovel Out sped me. Target Cuckoo. Dang. Oh, that works. That still, still works. Let's go. Shovel's going to give us a turn here. Nice. And now we just have the wings, which are also black spikes right now, so we just need to be really careful. Uh, that's fine. What we're going to do here... Oh, actually, yes, I have full health. We can just do this. Oh, shit! It did it unenraged. I always miss that. Uh, we should be fine, actually. It was, we're going to take this heart, but we've got plenty of them. Even if we take yeah, one more fine. right here. Alright, we're fine. Uh, but it's... Shit. Shit. Alright, it's... Uh... Push the Ratha. That's unfortunate. How much? Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, what what's happened now is that he is going to use Calamity Slam, and this could now possibly uh, kill everything. Um, we literally missed that part break by like a second. But you saw that all the parts came back and all the spikes came back. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate. Yeah, we're losing a lot of time here, but that's okay. We're very close to killing it. That one mistake on my part, because that would have got that would have been the part breaking the knockdown, and we would have been safer. But I really needed this thing to die. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Two nice. minutes. Dang, that sucks. It's okay though. That fight's Still not good, easy. Though. Yeah, we just missed that one. That's okay. All right, cool. So we're in we're in the home stretch now. Um, there's about an hour left, and we now have the return fights. And the return fights uh, are interesting. We're going back to areas that we have been uh, to re-encounter uh, new monsters. First thing that we're going to do here, though, is we're going to go and uh, see if we have the materials to make that Nergigante bow. I'm really hoping that we do, because then we have a killer run, uh, and that would be that would be great. Um, let's see here. Forge weapons. Nice. And then now we're going to head up to Yumlana one more time and then begin our returns with Kyle. Still nine minutes up, still possibilities to save time, still possibilities to lose time, so we'll see what happens. Losing two minutes under Gigante does feel really bad considering how these like how this game does go. Um I'm actually gonna find out where I lost two minutes on that. To be honest. I don't I don't really know how. Uh but we're gonna go ahead and talk to Kyle here, and then we're heading to the Jalma Highlands. Back to the desert. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Um, and so before each of these return fights, we are going to save. Um, and these fights are the epitome of, of stories, right? It's taking every bit of difficulty that they can find and throwing it at it. 
Oh, we are at 29. Nice. We are going to hit 32 for the next fight, which makes it a lot. Oh, no. Wrath is already 30. Sick. We are we are golden then. How was that standing? I was run. Okay. <laughs> uh, but that's good because that unlocks uh, one of Wrath's skills called Critical Eye, uh, which it functions exactly like our Absolute Evasion. It makes the... Uh, Glavinous fight a lot safer, though I have a strategy that doesn't need um, critical eye now, but it's still just really nice to have that because you also have the higher defenses, the higher health, um, you know, generic stuff that comes with leveling up yourself. And I'm used to doing this two levels under, um, so this is this is actually going to be great. We have every resource to do well right now, and it feels good. There we go. That's that beautiful line. We have to do that twice in this game. It's the hardest line, I, in my opinion. And then we're going to switch to good old Pookie Pookie again. You might notice, too, that all of these monsters are Rage Raid. They are the big Angie. And uh, that's because there is a pit nearby that is going absolutely bonkers. And uh, we are now responsible for taking care of that. Good turn there. Go that way. All right, cool. Look at this man with his lines. Some of these are not easy because you can't just do them the same way every single time because of monster position. And then that didn't enrage on us. Nice. Got a swift broke your Spotify. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, here's Wonderwall. All right, cool. Uh, so here is one of the harder fart uh, farts. One of the harder fights in the game, <laughs> Gendrum. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> this thing is really funny though. That. We show up and it's a Gendrum. Uh, so what I have to do here is kind of obnoxious. I need to build up uh, hammer charges on these double attacks and kinship, but I can't use my kinship yet. I need to hold my kinship for a while um, to kind of interrupt other AI that's going to happen. Um, I'm just going to pay attention to doing this because I usually mess it up because I either miss input or get greedy. Is this a... Uh-oh. Oh. He's here! Oh, hey. The goose! <laughs> Alright, so depending on who goose is targeting, it's me. Um, so that means I just have to go head-to-head uh, -head here. If he was targeting Kyle, I could have gotten away with this. Because I, what I wanted to do was do my level 3 um, hammer charge. Uh, but I have to wait for him to not target me and also not be a capitalizable moment uh, with Kyle. Which, actually, this works because it's going to use Ignition Breath. Um, and I can just do this. Jan should live this, but it usually targets Kyle, so I actually have no idea. 628 damage feels good. Really getting that head really close to a head break. Uh, and then now that has blast, uh, which is fine because what we're going to do is build up this ride and we're going to take the ride to get rid of that blast and heal up entirely. Uh, I'm going to ride, but I am not going to do that attack with Kyle. Kyle's going to interrupt an attack called bombing raid. Okay, sure. Um but now we actually want him to still do Bombing Raid, because when it's not in Rage, we can do this. Hey, remember those Flash Bombs we needed earlier? Yeah. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> now, the problem is, is that we can't do that on the next time uh, that we... Uh, that it flies, because it'll be in Rage, and it'll be immune to it uh, then. And Kyle just broke those wings, and that was our safety strat for that. So instead, what we're going to have to do is, uh, well, we're going to have just. to uh, get a, a kinship uh, ride, unfortunately. 
And that's going to be a lot harder to do. I also need to switch to SNS here. Uh, because now it's also doing double attacks. Um, and I should be able to get away with this. Kyle, you idiot. Use power. Power! Uh, we should be actually be really good, though, here, because we're going to get this air showdown. Kyle's going to use his um, kinship, which his kinship against this thing just does bonkers amount of damage. Um, there we go. Uh, this is Ignition Breath. Oh, no, it's Rising Headbutt. He's just dumb. Got it. Someone like dies here. Guy. Uh... We live, Pog Champ. Holy shit! All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna do this with him. Because bombing raid doesn't do that much damage, um, and that also full heals us. Uh, and then as long as we have, uh, as long as we have just like enough health in general, we survive this next hit. Not even Whoa, worried. let's Not go. Even right, cool. worried. Not <laughs> even close. Uh, next is the ignition breath attack with Yan does survive, and Kyle should still be able, like, should still be doing that. Um, so this will be, this will be fine. Oh no, we didn't do it. Uh oh, uh, he might die to that, which is okay. Um, we have plenty of hearts. We heal after this anyways, so it doesn't really matter. We can lose one heart here. Didn't even matter. All right, that was a tail break. Uh, we need to start winning these head-to-heads. Because next, we need to get a ride. Uh, he's going to do that. Oh, that was bombing raid. Whoops. That would have been perfectly fine not doing that. I thought that was going to be ignition breath, but it already did that. And since it's not enraged, we can just do this again. Stop that explosive landing, because it will hurt everyone. Whew. Hmm. The bomb proc is so scary. God, it just does so much damage. It's so funny to me. Oh, and it's already drooling. Pog. Yep. And this should do a considerable amount of its health. <laughs> nice. I meant all of his. I meant all of his health. Hey, remember that time loss we had? Yeah, but now I know it can be better. <laughs> oh my god! I got a minute of it back, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, all right, next is Hard's Guy Rocky Hill. It's on page one. We're going to save at the Catavan stand and then head up to the Glavinus fight. And we are super comfy for this Glavinus fight. I'm I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very happy with the resources we have and the position that we're in. Remember when this was supposed to be a flight percent? <laughs> Man, I remember, when, remembers. I remember when Bagel got world record. Again. Oh, were you there when he <laughs> did it again? Oh my gosh, please, input. Oh, no. That's not quite the right angle. There we go, much better. All right, so this is Mount Har's guy, or Har's guy Rocky Hill. You can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> uh, very similar to the other uh, Alcala areas. You know, we're just going to sprint through this as fast as we possibly can. There's Mega Potions in the middle, which we are absolutely grabbing. And this uh, Rathian right here, which if she positions herself the right way, which she did. Oh, you are a good Look Goral. At that. What a good Goral. Uh, we can just Easy. cruise right through here. This one we have to be a little careful because... 
it's really hard to see through here, and monsters can just pop out of the middle of nowhere. That Manoblos really likes to run directly at you. So do these guys. But we just gotta... Slip right past. And we gotta, and we and we gotta, gotta Mega Potions right here. Yep. Oh. Hmm. You gotta change that. Change what? Wait, did it? Oh, because you have it here as Mega Potions. And I know those what are was of Life. Oh, were they really? Death oh, life. shit. Oops. Yeah. I should fix that. Definitely thought those were Mega Potions. Ah, uh, it's even better. Yeah. Death of Life? Let's go. Yeah, that's all I was like, wait. <laughs> all right, uh, this fight sucks. That's it. That's all I got to say about it. It's really, really hard. Um, my plan is to break the tail as fast as possible because I can sequence break it. But then besides that, like, man, it's just pray and adapt. Um, so we're going to do our absolute best. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, here's Glavinus. Hmm? Also notice how little damage we do actually do to the tail. Because it resists all types of damage. Cool. But it does get us to KO. Yeah, it will get us a knockdown. Uh, it's just it doesn't like doesn't stay in that phase very long. Uh, and now it's already on speed. And it's double speed attacks. But that gave me my kinship, so that was 100% worth it. We're going to heal off of that, and you can't really kill anything right now, which is good. We're just going to ride this. Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, and then we need to switch the on Cuckoo. Um, and we all have enough health right now that I can get away with a double attack here, and that should actually break the tail. Fog. And then we switch back to Narukuga. Because that'll also sequence break it, and it should put it back to not fireball charge. Uh, but I've been wrong before. But it's in fireball charge right now, um, which is like hot mouth. Um, and then next is hot tail. Uh, but we'll be able to find out right now because Kyle's gonna uh, do this. Yeah, okay, so he's actually gonna go into uh, Chakram next. Nice. So we only need to win one of these head to heads, which we're not even gonna get anyways. And then this Flame Chakram just hits one person. But the nice thing is, is that since we are level 31 and also. Um, wearing the Brachidios armor. I don't have to worry about getting one shot by that, like, at all. Um, we can take this double. So that's one. We want to get to our kinship ride here. Uh, very badly. It's targeting Kyle. Crap. I have to heal this. And then I hope that it's going to target Ratha so we can get some kinship. Nope, Ratha went first. Oh, well. Because this is two, and then next is Scorching Blade. Um, which is, this is why we wanted what we... This is why we wanted level 30, because I get to do this now. I'm just going to let Kyle take that hit. Uh, yeah, I don't give a shit about him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have to double dodge this and, and him at two hearts is is safe me at two hearts is scary um so and he'll might live if the burn I goes away uh, i took 19 nope. burn, sad. Nah. it's okay though um but that puts us back down at the beginning uh so we can switch back to nargakuga and try to build this up again um and then go from there uh, but that's pretty much how we have to have to handle that. Been nice, more damage. Yeah, and then we're gonna save this kinship attack uh, for uh, the chakram. Actually, am I? Nah, we're gonna ride. We're gonna go mm -hmm. yellow. Thank you, green. 
I wish I could go to bed right now, too. Bye, Green. Yeah, it's like you're on World Record base or something. Man, boohoo. Bye, Green. <laughs> but I am going to line this up with Kyle. And then, yeah, he's going straight into Flame Chakram, so then we can switch now to... Ratha. And then we're going to heal Ratha. Uh, not that one, potion. Yeah, that works. Nice. There's my kinship, so then we just have one more that we have to survive here, which we can actually just ride this. We went before anyways. Uh, but I'll heal here, no matter what. That's two, and then he does a Scorching Blade, and we can tank the Scorching Blade with uh, Kinship at enough health. Pal should be okay. Yeah, right, cool. he's fine. And then now, we need speed. And then Kyle should be at level three here. Nice. And then next is Flame Chakram. Let me just do it again. Ow. Should be close to death, though. Uh, yep, already drilling. Let's go. I could have done a double attack with that, and I should have. Playing it a little safe right now. And that's why. Um. So, we're gonna do Monster Crit Eye. Alright, cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so you just have to play it safe, right? Because like I, I can lose the entire fight right there, and then we just lose this entire pace. Yeah. Uh, uh all nice right. Seven two seconds. Last last return fight is Glacial Agnactor. That's in Lalaska Rocky Canyon. We gotta go right one. And I went the wrong direction, but that's okay. Uh, and then this one is back this way. And then this one we need a hot drink for when we walk in. Or a hot mist. And then Glacial Act Nactor is also kind of a hard fight. Um, just because of its, whoops, uh, stra like the strategy that you have to take with it. Uh, which is to say there is very little strategy and you just pray. I love that um, strategy. But ideally, when it has ice armor, we want to uh, use kinship attacks to cancel its uh, AoE attacks. It has a lot of AoE attacks, and they do a lot of damage. Um, so actually maintaining enough kinship through it is a really difficult challenge. I can't believe that worked. I yeah, that should not have worked that way, but you know, you do you, boo boo. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, then we switch to Ratha. Oh wait, no, it starts. Uh, it starts ice armor. Um, and then in ice armor, it is power. So we want. Nargakuga. 
immediately, and then we need to switch to hammer. And we are going to bludgeon the crap out of this creature and make sure that it doesn't remember anything. Oh boy, Blunt Force Drama. That is the name of the game now. So it does two power attacks here, and then now it's going to start using uh, AoE attacks, which we can tank through for the most part. But right now, our goal is to get Kinship, which we just did. Now that we have Kinship, what we want to do is ride. We actually should be able to break the head right here. And if it doesn't, I'm going to cry. I don't think it does. I'm going to cry. So close. Oh, it was right there. So close. We should be able to get it. Just bonk it, bonk it, bonk it, bonk it, bonk it, bonk it. Good. Nice. All right, perfect. So now it switches to tech. Uh, and then that means we're going to switch to Ratha. And we continue the bonketing. I know. Kyle does so much damage when he, like, actually chooses to do things <laughs> the right way. Like, holy. Nice. So we're looking out for when it stops targeting us, it's going to do an attack called Cross Diamond, which is going to hit everyone. So we're going to want to evade it with the... Um, Rage of speed. Now, uh, we can we can keep doing this. Yeah, enrage of speed. Yeah, this is fine. I was thinking if I wanted to um, switch, but I don't. Yo, Sky! Everybody, come on, the Sky Sensei raid. My name is Jal Bagel. I spirit a monster game. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're just gonna do this. We are on record pace. Yeah, everyone say hi to Johnny. We're on record pace right now uh, for this game. So uh, I'm going to be paying attention to this. I love you so much. Guys, go check out Sky Sensei if you like FPS and Monster Hunter stuff. Uh, we're going to interrupt this because that's a freezing burst. That's one of the really difficult things about this fight is that he does that. He does a freezing or a, a double cross immediately followed up by a freezing burst, and it is probably the most annoying thing that any monster can do in this entire game. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. Oh my god, we're getting so lucky right now. Uh all right, so it's going to use... I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. It's going to use Freezing Burst here. As long as we're all at full, we survive. Oh, wow. No, uh, that anymore. was a skill seal, unfortunately. So I can't even use skills to separate my attacks right now. Um, so we're just going to kind of hope Kyle can do good things here. I might get the head, uh, I might get the head breaks in. And then we ride. And then we drop. Perfect. Nice. Back to Ratha. And we are actually really close to finishing this fight. Two cycles is about what it takes, two and a half. So we are we are really close to it. Oh my god. <laughs> Sky, what game were you playing tonight? All right, so that clack right there is his uh, I'm almost dead noise. And we're going to take advantage of the fact that Kyle... Oh, Kyle's so close. We're going to ride here. Because uh, this is also going to be another... This is either a diamond cross or a diamond uppercut. 
Diamond uppercut. Okay, we can tank this no problem. Level three. Tank it. Easiest clap of my entire life. Big damage. Let's go. Please die. Let's, Let's go. Freaking go. Nice. 4.2 second time save. Let's go. All right. We're done with the hard part. Now's the next hard part, which is more <laughs> monster fight, uh, more hunter fights. And these ones are difficult. They're not easy like the last one. So I'm, I'm worried. You got this, I believe. Uh, so we're going to fast roll back to the Alaska Rocky Canyon, which is where we are. Um, because it's a fast load and we're going to save here because safety saves are very important. And then now we're going to go to Nuwatai. First fight, we want to use Nargakuga. And we're going to be focusing Minoblos. Uh, the Minoblos team, which so far it looks like we are doing that. Uh, but I need to target this is an ogre just to win this head to head. So we kind of have to depend on Kyle here. He has a, uh, a, a area wide attack called arc shot, and it is very important to the uh, to the fight here. Besides that, I'm just using Nargakuka to bully this guy to the left. Um, and that's and that's pretty much it. We're just trying to get as much damage into these guys on the left as fast as we possibly can without taking too many hearts ourselves. We do heal up immediately after this, which is great. Um, and we got a really early kinship too. Nice. Good, two Ooh, hearts. Double nice. Kyle's perfectly fine with that. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. That's Ooh. fine. I don't care. And an arc shot. This is actually really good. You get that? Oh, okay. Oh, it's almost done anyways. Nice. Nice. Very good first well fight. Done. All right, second fight, we use Ratha, and it's a little bit harder. Uh, and we're once again targeting the team on the left, the Stygian's an ogre. Uh, and then the one on the right, you aren't going to win that anyways. It's okay. Arc shot, nice. See if that knocks out Stygian. Not quite. Mm -hmm. Nice. Might lose a heart from Ratha here. That's fine, though. Uh, does that win? It actually does. All right, I'm gonna do that just for the kinship. Another really good arc shot here. That can get us a KO on the left side. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Do not care about that. What? 
crit. Stop doing that. Not allowed. It really isn't. All right, that's good. Ooh. This might kill right here. Ooh. 69. 14. Uh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Damn, let's go, dude. Smooth if that's ever gone. And... Minute 29. Let's go. All right, next is Ray's Wing Wrath. Remember when we said we were going to go back to the Guardian Wrath of Wood? Well, here we go. We are... This, this is it. This is the end of the run. We've got two splits left. Uh, Ray's Wing Wrath is pretty straightforward as long as I'm paying attention. Uh, and then Ultura uh, can be difficult uh, sometimes. Uh, we're going to go to North Kamuna. We're going to do Evening. Uh, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I know this is this is going great. <laughs> we have gotten He's past all it. of we have gotten past all of the hard things. Everything that is difficult, we are now done with. Now Ultura is just kind of RNG, and I mean, we'll, we'll be fine. I <laughs> I don't even think I didn't Do you check need to that see how many. Life? Yeah, I I didn't I didn't check to see how many I had left because I oh, haven't used yeah. any of the dusts uh, yet. So I know I have no. those, and then I think I have five life powders left. I'm, I'm gonna grab it just to be safe. Um, it doesn't. It loses negligible amount of time. I mean, negligible. It loses like like 30 or 40 seconds. But I was gonna say it's literally just going back up and then down again. So yeah, better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, I would. I would much rather have them and not need them than need them and lose the run because I didn't grab them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna run up here and grab them real quick. Yoink. Because, yeah, sometimes the rider fight goes really bad. Like, that rider fight goes really bad, and I have to use, um, like, life oh, powders yes. and dust of life over and over and over again just to survive each turn until someone dies, and then, you know, we're, we're okay. We... Everyone say hi to White Monoblos. Bye, Monoblos. <laughs> Why are you stopping? I, I ran into the wall a little bit too much. Uh, it's like if you rub into the wall just like a little too much, it slows down your velocity enough uh, that it just stops you. Because uh. if you run into a wall, it just stops you. Uh, we can go wide here. Whee. Actually, going Hold wide that. is a little bit easier. He's not stuck. Oh, no, yes. Yeah. You can get around that, but. Oh, I heard him. <laughs> I'm play it safe. Alright, there we go. But I heard him like start running back towards me. I'm like, uh, I don't like that. Everyone say hi to Anjanath. Hi, Anjanath. Ooh, he's glowing red. He angry. Bye. Go right past all of this. Say hi to Boldrome. Hi. Oh wait, that's no, not a Boldrome anymore. That's a Tigrix. <laughs> Never mind. No. Don't say hi to that thing. Oh good. Yeah. <laughs> Playing it safe. Yeah. I do not want to get back attacked by that thing right now. That would be so tragic. Well, I guess I do have the the catavant. No, I I would I would lose so much time doing that. I, just, I would literally just heal out of out of pocket. All right. So what's happened is that the 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 big bad has revealed himself. It's a dude that we encountered in the story before. Oh, big spoiler. Um, and he has taken Ratha. Uh, hey, look, it's Guardian Ratha. He's back. He's taken Ratha and is trying to sacrifice him to this weird tentacle elder dragon under the ground. Um, we're going to stop him. Uh, but always, 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 this is a safety save that is probably not needed, but I take it anyways because you can mess up to the Zellard fight here. It's very easy to do so. Um, all he does is spam um, power attack, but in between that, he's also using Savage Fireball and Sky High Dive. Um, 
So we need to actually pay attention and make sure uh, that, you know, we are lining up our attacks in the right way. We're gonna switch to the Emerald Beater so we deal a little bit extra elemental damage. Um, and then right out the gate, it's gonna use a Savage Fireball and it won't be able to kill any of us. So all we want to do right now is just focus on getting a kinship attack, and we can use kinship attacks to skip fat, uh, savage fireballs, but not um, sky high dives. And when we aren't being targeted, it's going to be a savage fireball, so I just kind of have to pay attention to that. But when it targets Kyle like that, I really don't care if it's going to do it. I do care if it uses it on me, though. Kyle's getting a little low there. Uh, just don't want him carding a little uh, too early. So if I can avoid that by just healing him really quick and then also save his kinship attack for right here, that's good. So it's going to stop that Savage Fireball and it's going to deal a massive amount of damage uh, for this fight. And then this should be Sky High Dive. Sky High Ho. Um, guaranteed one shot, but it only happens three times uh, in the fight, and it happens to each um, each individual character. Uh, so now we're getting double attacks. Because I think we're getting double attacks now. Yeah, we are. So now we want to kind of separate out our attacks and just make sure that... Uh, uh, we aren't taking dumb damage, so we can tank the Savage Fireballs when they come out. Another one to Kyle, it looks like. Kyle! Brother. So next is the Savage Fireball. Uh, oh no, soon's the Savage Fireball, but it's gonna do two the next time. Um, and I need Kyle to figure out his own things, unfortunately, because I am being targeted. And I'm just really hoping that it doesn't hit Kyle, because that will kill Kyle, and then Kyle will be down to one heart, and I'll have to figure that out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Never mind. That's not good. Mm. Not good at all. Um, Alright, that actually is, is a, a great meteor shower that gives us a turn, because that's going to cancel the Savage Fireball. And then uh, next is uh, going to be the, the Sky High... Uh, dive, but we're going to do this. I'm just going to interrupt that. There's one. There's two. Good, we're already on three. Nice. And there's three. We actually skipped one of the sky high dives then. Which is gonna happen right now, it looks like. And I believe it's only one more head to head. There it is. Nice. Nice. Holy Six mother of time, time save. save. Six <laughs> seconds. That's all we need. All right. Next is the real fight. We now get Ratha back. This is it. The last one, baby. Five phases of Ultura. We've got five phases to get through. And we got to do it right the first time. Um, and this can be kind of hard just depending on AI and where things are getting targeted. Um, but if we get really lucky and we get really good and we get the good fight AI and uh, I, I'll be I'll be ecstatic because we'll end up saving like a minute here. But we are on an amazing pace right now. This is this is so good. 
All right, here we go. Otura. The namesake. Yeah, so that namesake. tentacle thingy is now a big moth. Baby. Switch to Ratha immediately, and we're going to use the Nurgle bow. And we just want to win all these head-to-heads. Phase one's pretty straightforward. He just goes through his normal phase and then his enrage cycle. And all we want to do during that is just get to a level three kinship um, and carry that into the next phase. Kind of unfortunate that he immediately targeted Kyle, uh, but it's okay. Oh my God, Kyle's gamer. Uh, that's actually really bad for us though, uh, because that means Kyle gets uh, kinship a turn too early. He's going to get it right after this turn, and it won't transition yet. And so he's just going to use it a turn too early. Please transition. Please be enough damage and transition. Oh, nice. let's freaking go. That's actually awesome. All right, so Thunderblaze happens uh, going immediately into phase two. Kyle's going to heal us all, so we can actually tank this next hit. Um, so he's going to use that, and we can just kind of hit right here. Um, and what's really nice about this is that we counter this and then Kyle survives this next hit. Uh, and then we can, uh, kinship level three double onto this wing and immediately break it. And we go from two attacks down to one. This is a power. So we need to switch to Nargakuga. Uh, what happens next is that it's going to do, um, an attack called charge which is going to make its next attack very strong. Um, so we're going to have to do some creative movement here. We're going to dodge the attack and let Nargakuga take it. Uh, Nargakuga is going to lose that heart, but it really doesn't matter um, because at full health, Kyle survives. Um, Nargakuga doesn't, and as long as we have two hearts, we're pretty safe. Now, we can tank the next hit. Kyle, please hit the wing. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful boy. Um, we can tank the next hit. All we have to do is just heal up Kyle, see if he does it himself. He doesn't. That's perfectly fine. I'd much rather him attack. We can heal him up. And then we tank the Thunder Tempest. Everyone lives. So now we just need to pay attention to what this next attack is. It's targeting Kyle with a speed attack. So we absolutely, absolutely have to uh, heal everyone. Because Kyle is going to lose that. These are where the Dust of Life come in. It's also really unfortunate, but I am paralyzed right now, so I will have like a 50-50 chance of just not getting to attack. Uh, sick. <laughs> it did target me. Please, please, for the love of God, please. Thank you. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, I think your paralysis wore off the turn after. So uh, actually that's really actually good. great then. Uh, we yeah. had to go through another charge, which is really unfortunate. Unless it breaks here. Let's go. Okay, if we don't get the release immediately after this, that means I do have to survive the first hit. Nope, we're good. All right, so now we immediately switch to Ratha, and we it's more or less um, phase one again. Uh, Kyle's going to get his kinship attack uh, too early. That's fine. We got the really good phase one transition, just not the phase two transition. Because he's going to get it right here. And he'll use it. That's okay. It actually kind of works out for him. Uh, and then... Am I going to have enough for the enrage? It didn't enrage yet. All right, so it's just he's just using a Mega Potion. All right, no, this is fine. This is fine. We'll have enough kinship. Not quite. I need it to target me so I can get... That works. Yep, that works nice. perfectly. And then now I can ride this. Uh, okay. Phase three. Uh... So now it's speed. Kyle's going to heal us immediately after this, which is nice. And I only have my kinship attack. Um, I'm actually thinking, do I keep this? No, no, no. I have to, I have to take this. Um... 
We're gonna aim for this one. Oh, he only healed himself. What a dick. Yeah, it switched off of you as soon as you grabbed. Um, and then now we need to do... Technical. And you're targeting me. And then as long as it targets Cuckoo, I'll be really happy. Because that'll be kinship build. Nope, it hit Kyle. Uh, this is charge. Uh, so what I'm going to do... Yeah, is use the Vital Essence. Nice. Good break. Kyle might actually die to this, and that's not a pro Oh, wait, no, he's going to have... He actually has kinship. Holy shit. Oh. That's insane. <laughs> that's actually insane, because he stops the Aqua Tempest. Awesome. We get extra hits in, and then I just heal next turn. And all I have to do is heal myself. Oh, sick, dude. Brilliant. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> when Kyle comes in clutch, let's go. Yep, he did a really good job there. That's awesome. Uh, and now we're only into single attacks, so we can uh, line up double attacks. Yep, everyone lives. Perfect. Doesn't have to be my much. just has to be. Um... Yep, good. Only one attack right now. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to let it charge. And then I'm going to use my kinship attack. Just going to play it safe. Nice. Nice. Uh, well it's still going to do the uh, the next one. So, I mean, we're just going to attack it. And as long as everyone lives, which everyone's at full health. We get the phase, nice, the phase three release. Switch to Ratha. It's targeting Kyle. Kyle's going to use charge. I'm actually just going to take advantage of that and just heal Ratha. Because that's going to give me more kinship than just attacking it. And then Kyle's probably going to attack it this turn. Yep. Now, two technical attacks on Kyle, huh? You got a thing for Kyle or something? It's okay, going into phase uh, four would have been really nice to have a kinship attack, but we might not have one. Um, we actually have to use an Argukuga. Yep, that's perfect. We will have it. We will have our kinship attack going into four. Ooh, I should have done that with him. I absolutely should have done that with him. Oh well. Kyle's getting bullied! Mm. Uh, that actually worked out. Holy crap. Because now... It's going to transition. And we're both going to have a level 3. Yo, holy... Okay, so fa phase four is just technical attacks. Um, there's no big explosion, but there are three attacks that it does a turn. So I need to destroy the right ray wing first. Um, we're going to wait for Kyle here, right? Yeah, I think I have to wait for, for Kyle here. It does three attacks. Actually, no, I, I, I don't think I can. Oh, okay, all right, all right, good, good. Because I use it, he did it. All right, perfect. So that breaks that one, so you should now be down to two. Switch to Ratha. Ratha's being targeted. I have full health, so we can both target this together and get a double attack, and then I can tank the attack after that. Next is the left wing. You.
Yep. As long as I have full health, I can tank one hit. This is fine, because what I can do is a power attack on that left wing. And I survive at one. Kyle, you idiot. Now, depending on what happens next. All right, you're targeting Ratha. Ratha needs to get that. And then I need to heal everyone. Um, this is actually good. Nice. Oh, does he hit the wing, though? Nice. Oh, you smart man. And do you hit the wing? Nope. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> uh, I actually don't know if that's going to stop it. So I'm just going to do this. I don't know if he's still doing two. I should have just waited and kept uh, separating my attacks out. Um... Yeah, especially now with that AI. Uh, I'm at full health. We can do this. Breaks that one. Nice. Yeah, he still had two. Okay. I survive. We're going to get a free turn here. And we're doing great on hearts. Hit the other freaking wing, mm. idiot. Are you kidding me? He's going to give you a free... Uh... Free turn right now, anyways. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, and a critical too. Let's go. Ooh, double critical. Mm -hmm. I'm just separating these to make sure. I don't know. I, it should be down to one. Uh, one attack now. Oh my gosh, six twelve. Sick. Nice. All right, last phase. All right. Uh, five turns. One. Yeah, I can just, I can just go. Two. After, uh, after four turns, the fifth turn, it uses an attack that will one-shot everyone. I need to have at least three, three, three hearts, and Kyle needs to have at least two, or I need to be in a kinship ride. In that time, we have to break both wings, and we are getting very good. Nice. This is turn four. Next turn is luminosity, which doesn't matter. I have three hearts on everybody. I can just keep going. Luminosity. Yami, thank you! And it starts over. One. Ooh, nice crit. crit. Two. Nice. Time. Well fucking done. That is an 11 minute world record. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> that is Damn. awesome. G fucking G right there. Runs do not go that well. <laughs> <laughs> runs do not go that well and and i'm really happy that is my deathless i yeah. finally got my deathless uh run with the ad lib route i didn't take a single death that entire time and it is now down to a 541 and there's at least at least five minutes of time save left Dude. yeah because you definitely have it with nergi yeah, the two minutes on Nergi, which was really weird, but that might have just been like that that seed. 
Uh, don't oh forget, you also lost 20 seconds because we didn't split on time uh, in the beginning. Yeah, I even <laughs> I even watched one of those. I did. I did start the timer a little late, so I'll have to add that time back in. Um, so I'll put that in. I'll put that in post. Uh, but I mean, it's still it's still a new world record. Oh yeah, no, definitely. GG's, dude. Congrats. Oh my Where were gosh. you when Big got world record again? Again. Dude, insane. I was actually here <laughs> for once. He did it. Oh, dude, I'm so happy. Oh, it's 1 a.m. <laughs> Can I have my Please husband back sleep. now? Uh, I mean, I, I can't. I can't control what he does. <laughs> yeah. Good run, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we we lost like 30 seconds like here or there. It's just like you know damage, like rolls and stuff like that. Like it happens. But that is so good. All right. Well, that's that's the run. This was a commentary <laughs> run too. I did it again. World record again with commentary. Uh, that was a that was a commentary run. Uh, so that's the that's it. That's the whole you know speed run. Uh, Monster Hunter Stories Two: Wings of Ruin with Torta percent in five forty one XX uh, to be to be determined. Um, but that's uh, that's sick. That's awesome. I'm very very happy, Johnny. Thank you for joining me. Um, and if you at home want to know more about the speed run, you can join the MHSR. That's the Monster Hunter speed running community discord you can find that on uh, speedrun.com slash mh um or speedrun.com slash mh stories too uh yeah i think that's it yeah, that's what i got cool johnny you have anything you want to add no I'm Did you're oh, i thought you already left <laughs> 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 that would have been funny oh, that just like off. nope i've got <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, dude. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys for, so very much for watching. Uh, and uh, I'll, see you on, I'll see you on the YouTube lands. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. You can also catch me on Twitch, live streaming speedruns like this and other challenges as well in Monster Hunter and even in other games. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time, and I will see you soon.